Hello, everybody. Hello. Please work. Yeah, getting good at this now. Hello, everybody. Good to see you all. Happy New Year to you. Hello to Bonzo Master. Hello to Michael Jensen. Hello, Quagers. Hello, Andrew Bryan. Hello, Johnny Cribs. Hello, Ox. Hello, Max Seven. Hello, Lord Infinity. Hello, Daz Gamer. Breathe. Quakers, hello, Adman2019, uh, sorry, hello, Andrew Shabrian, Daz Game again, good to see you, buddy. Uh, Sam M, hello, a JMA80, good to see you all, how you doing, SQ Ron, hope you are all well. How is everybody? Hello, Mr. Raw, good to see you, Mr. Raw. Uh, good to see you guys, it's a bit loud. So, yes, we are using the Maxi, the CC4 Maxi, it might be a little bit like that, but thank you very much for that, I really do appreciate that. Let's turn it down a little bit. Okay, good to see you. How was your Christmas? Hello, Daz. Good to see you. Uh, right, we are using the new... Well, I'm using, you, I'm using the new streaming setup. Thank you to everyone that's watched my video. If you haven't watched the video, please don't say anything. Uh, uh, yes, it's going all right so far, but the last edition, which of course is the green screen, has not arrived yet. So that's going to be arriving on Sunday. So what I am using, I'm using my old one. Jonathan, thank you very much. Happy New Year to you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Hope you're all well. Did you all have a good Christmas? It's too loud for you all the time, is it? Right, I could move the microphone a little bit closer, but yes, all the feedback is very much appreciated. Hello, ho, chaps. Hello, Tim Pilot. How you doing? Andy um, Spine, how you doing, buddy? Uh, Mr. Raw, how you doing? How's the family? Everyone well? And thank you, Daz. Um, Donovan, good to be. What's, what's your image this time? It's a cat. Is that your cat? I used to have a cat like that. Thank you, really appreciate it. Sam, how are you doing? Right, today, we're back on the CG4. I didn't do many CG4 streams. What's your, what's your cat's name? Uh, yeah, I had a cat quite similar to that called Chloe. Yeah, she was black and white too. Um, thank you, really appreciate it. Yeah, I didn't do many CG4 streams last year, but anyway, today, Manic Miner, I haven't played it for a while. I've actually got, that doesn't look good, does it? Uh, three versions of this one. Oh, but that should be as bitchy as that. So that doesn't go. <laughs> Well, there we go. Design apps, a game which I love. I don't know where the box is. That's over here. Haven't finished it before. We've got some shoot ups in there somewhere. Uh, do have it on the Amiga as well, but I think the see version versions better, my personal opinion. Madness. Uh, Madness was requested by Lord Infinity. And it's really good. Jonathan MCD donated two pounds for Super Chat. Happy New Year, you lot. <laughs> Happy New Year to you. Yes, it was requested by Lord Infinity, I think. I had a brief go the other day. It's really, really good. Uh, Rocking Co. This is a game which has been out quite some time. In fact, the demand has been so high, there's actually going to be a second run of the physical versions. I only played it for the very first time early on today. It's been so long, so we been to try it for a while. We'll try it today. Bounty Badger, it featured on my last pickup video. We're another go. Impossible Mission, I have not played it very much on live streams, but it's a game which I have finished on other versions, not on the CD4. We'll try it anyway. I.O. We've got time. Tony is a new game. Um, I think it might be a demo stage. Not sure yet. Dig Dug Revival is definitely a new game. Steel Ranger was requested in the intro. Uh, see, what, see what I can do for you, buddy. I don't have a physical version, though, but I have played it. It's not played for a while, though. And It's Magic is also another fairly newish game. I'll try and fit that one in if I can. Any new requests, please do so. I'm not working this weekend, which is good. I've got a few videos to finish, but it's going all right. Anyway, um... Good to see you all. Um, cat can't out. He is sweet. I've just got a bag of tortilla trips. Well, I haven't got any snacks. I haven't eaten very much. Well, I have had dinner, but I've even burnt it. That's what you get when you're trying to get ready for a stream while trying to cook at the same time. A little bit of cheesy Baileys. I have got a glass of wine. It's it's rare to have wine, but there we go. It's right there. Uh, anyway, we we'll quickly start off with a question. But yeah, really good to see you guys. I hope you are well. Happy New Year to you. Yes, the fifth already, isn't it? So, right, so we start off Christmas. Of course, Christmas has been and gone. It was over in a flash. What presents did you get at Christmas? Privately gaming related. Yes, quite rare. It's very, very rare I drink alcohol. But anyway, I've got, yes, I've got a lot going on here. I've got wine. I've got water. I've also got, I know, it's crazy, a cup of tea and a can of Coke. Yeah, not all at the same time. I'll be absolutely off my trolley. But there we go. We'll just try to stagger it over the course of this stream. <laughs> Right, so let me know if there's any issues, but of course, yes, this game, of course, yes, I did play this a lot more than Jet Set Willy. It has very repetitive music, but it doesn't bother me in the slightest, but... Hello, Colin, good to see you. Let me know if it's too loud. It shouldn't be. But some of the games we're playing today will be a little bit up and down. Good to see you, Retro Memoirs, and Heath is here. Hello, Heath, good to see you. How are you both doing? Um, 
did a long play absolutely ages ago, but I haven't played it for so long, so I might be a bit rusty, but we'll see. But this game does have a draining air bar. It's always difficult when the first game you play it on the stream has a draining energy bar or time limit. It's not too bad on this one, but I keep moving. Uh, how you doing, Colin? Good to see you, man. Let's go. How you doing? Good to see you. Happy New Year to you. Do you have a good Christmas? I've missed quite a few comments here. Uh, Fort Barney Badger was a good platform. It's good. Yes, what we're going to do, we'll probably have a quick go also of Monty on the Run. I'm not very good at Monty on the Run. I have played Monty on the Run a lot more than Barney Badger, but I make much more, more, more progress than Manic... Sorry, I'm making more progress in Barney Badger than I am on Monty on the Run, but we'll try it anyway. Um, clothes and candy, yes. Well, I got some socks. I think everyone tends to get socks or deodorant for Christmas, that sort of thing, or pairs of pants, I expect. Uh, yeah, I didn't, didn't get much this year, but it is getting quieter every single year. It was just nice to have a little bit of break from work. But of course, I was back to work this week. Um, yes, my mum got me some socks, yes. I mean, I do get through them quite quickly, because yes, when I'm wearing my work boots at work, they tend to ravel the back of the socks and just get holes in the, in the heels. But there we go, yes. It's always handy, isn't it? Uh, Mr. Spuddy's here. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. How you doing? How the Kit Kats doing? Uh, lottery tickets. My lord, I haven't done a lottery for a very, very long time. I very, very do scratch cards these days. A robot, your main present. Yeah, I haven't seen that video yet, but thank you for posting. Yeah, I'll have a look at that on the stream, Heath. But I'll be well, Heath. Good to see you. Uh, how you doing? Retro Red Mars. Got another case. Super Pocket. Duke Nukem. I played you new for a while. I didn't get far in that game, but I have got it on the Xbox 360. But I'm assuming it's probably had a few remasters since then, I expect. Well, if you are lottery winners, then yes, fantastic. I might ask you for a penny or two. Uh, socks and smelly stuff. Best Christmas present. Only takes a few years to realise it. Are you burning pizza? I nearly did. It was probably about a few minutes longer, and it probably would have been unedible. But it was okay. A bit crunchy on the crust, but no surprise there. As a Manic Miner OG, I spent so many hours playing this. Did you prefer this or Jet Set Willy? Uh, that's a question for Jonathan. Hello, Melanie. Is Melanie there with you? Hello, Melanie, if she's there. I hope you and Melanie are both well and the blind. Right, it's the Abandoned Uranium Workers. Uh, but yes, the time is not too bad in this one. Thanks for asking. I'm good now. I'm watching you. I appreciate that, Mr. Raw. The girls are doing very well. Thank you, Oliver. Uh, is okay. Does not like being inside so much, but besides. Well, I've been on a few streams recently on YouTube, and uh, yeah, I heard in Finland, which is where the stream was taking place, basically it was the Finn man that I was watching, and yes, he's got a lot of snow, and of course this time of year in North, uh, Finland, it's understandable, but yeah, it, it's like 21, minus 21 over there, and I was also talking to someone else on the stream, and they're getting like minus 40, it's insane, but yeah, we haven't got temperatures nowhere near like that, but we have had quite a lot of rain. So, what sort of situations are you experiencing at the moment, in terms of temperature, and wet, or gales? We've had quite a lot of gales recently, but there are quite a lot of floods in certain parts of the UK. And Royal Infinity, was it Royal Infinity? I think you said that you didn't have to go to work today because your school was flooded. Uh, sorry to hear that, but <laughs> I suppose in a way it was a good thing, you got a day off work. But not good for the long run, I guess. But hope you had a good day at Royal Infinity. Got a pair of jeans, hoodie, and a pair of socks. We always get pairs of socks, don't we? I did say to my mum this year, please don't get me any more clothes, like hoodies, because I haven't got any place to put them. Right, find all the items, in this case keys, and get to the exit door. Right, we'll get rid of that question, put another one up in a minute. Uh, £16? Well, that's not too shabby, it's better than nothing. I hate it when you sort of spend a pound or two pound on a scratch card, and you get one or two pound back. And it's just like, well, that's pointless. I suppose it helps, but, you know, it'd be nice if you could double it or something like that, that'd be nice. Due to the floods, yeah, there's been quite a lot of them, yeah, so I've heard. Right, Eugene's Lair. Now, back in the day, this one got me for a while. Kept getting killed by toilets. You don't hear that on a daily basis, now, do you? Hello to Gumdio. Hello, John. Good to see you. Hello, bread, 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 oh, bread bin fans. Hello. Yes, it's a good, you've got me a good one today. Mr. Raw, if you're here, I think you are. Um, I'm going to be using the zip stick. Now, I am using the adapter that I bought. But it doesn't work on every single game, it only works on certain ones. It works on ones on the carousel for some reason, but none on the... I'm going to die again. On the SD card. Which is a bit of a mystery. So we're playing a few games from the carousel. 
and see where we go. But I need to look into why only some are working and some are not. Mine's 18, that's insane. Uh, I'll be putting it on the expenses. I'm right, gonna be killed by a toilet twice in succession. No, we'll go again. Uh, did you get a drill? No, I didn't. I didn't get a drill, no. I got a £50 uh, cinema voucher for mum, socks, biscuits, chocolates. I think that was it. Oh, I also got a hamper. Um, like, well, not quite like the one I got at work. It's got lots of fruit and vegetables in it. I think he's trying to say something. But I don't eat enough of it. Um, love this level. My best mate won 30,000, 300, oh, 300,000, that's, that's insane, changed his life, I bet it did. Anyone winning that kind of money would certainly have a life-changing situation, my lord, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't know anyone, apart from your friends, that has won anything like that. But yes, I think the reason why I stopped buying lottery tickets was pretty much when it went up in price. I liked it when it was about a pound, I think it's about, what, £2.50 now, which I think is a bit steep. Uh, and also, I think there's more balls now, isn't there? So there's less chances of winning. Uh, you got a say electric set. That's fantastic, Mr. Spud. Uh, jet set winning was awesome, but not the same challenge. No, I got a bit lost in that game, even though I do have it. But yeah, um, a much, much larger game. With this one, of course, it's a single screen. Uh, got anonymous robot on your plane present. Um, yeah, I don't know many people who got the Evercade. What's your opinions on the Evercade? Do you recommend the Evercade? <clears throat> Got some beer, some invitation for breakfast, candy, and a big towel and hot sauce. My lord. It's a mixed bag, isn't it? Um, pretty nice, thanks. Think they'll be okay for us to go back on Monday. Well, I hope it's not too serious, um, Lord Infinity. Uh, yes, it was very rare that we didn't have to go to school. I think only once were we sent home from school and we had snow. Ever since then, we had snow. We was always thinking, quick! Turn the radio on, we might be, no, we're still going to school. Or if it's, not, it's snowing at school, we get thinking we're going to get sent home now. No, we didn't. We still have to go to school, we still have to stay at school, but never mind. But then when you get home from school, first thing you do is go out and throw some snowballs at your friends. Which probably would make sense. The, right, so uh, yes, I'm sure most people probably play this game, rules are simple. Find all the items, in this case keys, and find next door. But yes, of course there's going to be lots of enemies hindering you, always going to make it difficult for you. Lottery is a good way to lose money. Yes, that and betting. I used to do betting, but I was doing it for the wrong reason. I was doing it to pay my bills or get myself out of debt. But I don't do that anymore because I'm, a, I'm a, accepting, shall we say, that I'm not very good at it. If you're not good at it, don't do it. The trouble is, yes, you tend to lose. Then you're trying to keep doing more, trying to get your money back, and you're just losing, losing, losing all the time. So who went back to work this week? Is Rusty James here? Hello, Rusty James. I probably just missed you. Hello, good to see you. How are you and Dee doing? Good to hear from you. I hope you are well too. Um, uh, does anyone make any New Year's resolutions? I have tried, but I never stuck with it. I had to take a taxi home from work last night. It cost £200. My goodness me. What sort of car was it? Was it a, uh, a stretch limo or something? My goodness, that's crazy. Where did you go and where did you go from? Uh, Melanie says hi to you. Hello, Melanie. And you're hope doing a good job. Thank you, Melanie. Good to see you. Uh, Melanie, do you play any games of any shape or form? If not, then Andrew's got to try and change that. He must. You've got to be a gamer. You should be a gamer. <laughs> Did you play any games in the old days? PlayStation blanket for the sofa, smelly chocolate voucher and some clothes for Mr. Daz Gamer. Good to see you, Daz Gamer. Um, PlayStation 5 controller, Mortals, PlayStation 5 offer on from Ina, Caroline and Oliver. An ointment cream for your back, and we well, hope that's working for you, Mr. Raw. I hope so. Not a limo. Back to work on Monday. Yes, I was back on Tuesday. It was a shock to the system, being on earlies, but it went okay. It was okay. However, we are now a team of three now, because one was on probation. He's actually been... Well, not well his contract's been terminated because he had too much sick. It's a shame, he's a nice guy, but yeah, you can't have too much sick. And he was, he was given a final warning, no more sick, and he went sick again. So, uh, he was dismissed on Tuesday. So, happy new year, lose your job. That's not a good thing. It's a shame, really. But anyway, the three of us are doing okay. We all had a good time, good break. We needed it. Back to reality now. Hello, Saberwolf. Good to see you. Let's try and get past this Eugene's lair. Um, good to see you, buddy. How you doing, Saberwolf? 
not played so well for quite a while. I can't remember what the timing is on this one. Jump over the toilet. There we go. Enemies can be anything in this game. Right. Now also, this is one of a few levels where when you get the final item, you're of course going to head to the exit door. But you'll also be attacked by Eugene, which of course is the great big massive egg in the middle of the screen. So make sure you pick up the one to the closest point at the exit, otherwise you're probably not going to get there in time. So I tend to leave the one on the left till last. Um, back to what yesterday, nice short wait. It went so quick, didn't it? Didn't really get to rest though, that's the problem, because I was working on the, uh, the project. So yeah, I was hoping to get a lot of videos done. I only got one done. I got one started as well, but yeah, not quite the plan. But like I say, I would not have got that done just one single weekend. Eugene loves to look dodgy, certainly now in fashion like that. Uh, the processing plant. Let's put a question on. Um, does that have to be on the CD4? Could be whatever you want. How many games can you name which had an air bar any system? Drop then hold. Sick boy. Who's sick? Who's sick? Hopefully you're not really sick. <laughs> How you doing, Gumjo? Good to see you. She plays no games, but she wants to play some games with cats like Stray. Yes, I need to try out Stray. I've heard it's not a very long game, though. But now there is actually a physical version. I have to admit, though, Mr. Andrew Blind, I haven't played the PlayStation 5 for a while. Quite a while, actually. At least a month. That's not the way to do it, Jamie. We're trying this at the weekend. Bought Death Stranding. I've not played that either. Strange game, but I'm sticking with it. That also, I think, is quite a longish game, isn't it? Hello, Condra. Good to see you, Condra. 1805. How are you doing? News in story had an elf bar or energy bar. Yes, of course. Certainly did. Tough game, that one. Uh, I still think the Mega version is my favourite, but... Yeah, they're all different in their own ways. Not played it on official arcade, but I have played the arcade version. There's so many different compilations. I've got one on the PlayStation 2. Which was... Chiato Legends, I think it was called, something along those lines. The PlayStation 2 games are no longer in here, but of course other systems and games are. Some of them are easy to get home with now. Boulder Dash, I really appreciate that. That's fantastic you're putting in the time now. You know I'm going to ask. Yes, quite a difference. 7.23am, Saturday over here, Jamie. Good to see you, Boulder Dash. Welcome to Australia. Scuba Dive on Specky as a health bar. I have started the Spectrum Next video, Mr. Spy, but I had a few problems, which is why I'm resuming play tomorrow. Um, but yes, hopefully the video will do well, I hope. Um, but I won't spoil it for anyone, but yeah, I have had a few problems, not gonna lie. Hello, Wrecking Crew! Hello, Wrecking Crew! Good to see you! i have been watching quite a lot of my very early uh, streams and videos, I appreciate that. It does make me cringe seeing my, uh, my later stuff, or late stuff. I recall Underwater Mine and Java. Um... Scuba Dive, I've heard of it. I don't think I've played it though. It might be on the C4, but I'm pretty sure I have not played that. Uh, Fallout New Vegas had one, but don't swim much in it. Thumb up the stream. Thank you. Alkenstein, hello, Alkenstein. How are you doing? Hope you're well. Um... Wrecking Crew, did you have a good Christmas? Right, that is additional life, I think. You don't get many extra lives in this game, but it's always nice. Um. Right, and of course some floors will fall beneath you. Um, but of course, yes, Manic Miner, or Miner Weir, whatever you want to call him, doesn't have any additional weapons or skills, just to jump on the run. That's all, of course, all we have. I'll try it. I'll try it. Yeah, I'll try it. There's so many games we've got to try and try out. Subnautica has an air timer, does that count? Well, yes, of course, yes, anything like that will count, of course. Thank you, Andrew Brian, I really appreciate that. Um, it was on the CD4, I've been surprised if it wasn't, but thank you, Gumjo, for confirming. Uh, thank you, um, Jonathan, I appreciate that, really appreciate that. How you doing, uh, Mushy James? Good to see you, buddy. Airlock, my sister Nick is out of hospital, I forgot to ask you about that, mate, thank you for confirming that. Yeah, that was a shock to the system. The senior was just about to go on holiday as well. Right, it's not the way I should do it, but it's the way we're gonna do it. I'm killed by the mouse. Um, it's quite rare I do run out of air on this one, but there are a few levels which is quite easy to do in terms of running out of air. Ugh! Right, uh, Miner Willy meets the Kong base, and basically. Oh my god! 
Yeah, you've got to try and knock that dude at the top into the pit. Um, this is quite a difficult one, this one. Can I get into the wire? Carsten, hey Carsten, good to see you Carsten, how you doing? Happy New Year to you, hope you're good Christmas. Um, Haitian, heard of it, not played it. That's on the CD4, is it? I'm sure it is. Why hit the switch at the top? Need a long time to understand air bar, thought you meant... Oh, drinks! I've got actually got quite a lot of drinks on the go here. One of them is hot, which I must drink, it's going stone cold. Scratch that, it is cold, it already is cold, but I've got so many cold drinks here as well. How you doing, Carsten? Um, so who owns a Specky? Who owns the Specky next? I know quite a few of you do. Uh, Mike Manor with what the first games I played on your Spectrum in the 80s? Well, I got my first Spectrum a couple of weeks ago. Crazy, isn't it? Right, we're home, but we're not done yet. Let's go find whatever that is. Could be a banana, could be a, a knife, could be a knife. That's not a knife. What is it then? Banana? Uh, get one of those vacuum clean mugs to keep your... Yes, I do need to get something like that. Yes, before I go to work, I have a cup of tea. When I go to my first break, I have a cup of tea. On my second break, I have a cup of tea. What I have when I get home from work is a cup of tea. You have to do drink a lot of it. In terms of how much blood Vamped Amiga has to consume, and how much tea I tend to consume, it's about sort of level pegging. Uh, right, we'll try and get to the exit door. Time is ticking. Now he does also feature again, like the wacky, I can't even pronounce that one. You have a specky, full get K, and a 1283. 1283, right, is that the big, the long one, isn't it? You got a 48 K, a 48 K, and a th plus three. Yes, for those of you who are experts with the Specky, the only one that I've played, because my friends had it back in the day, was a, was the really small one with the rubber keys. It was really small. I'm not sure what one that was, but that was the only one that I have played. But yeah, I've definitely had some experience with that, and also the Amstrad. It didn't have a disk drive, no. I don't think so. It was a long time ago. Um, no, it was just a cassette, I think. It was a 48. Thank you for confirming. It was bugged my brain for years. Yeah, not many of my friends had those sort of systems. Most people had uh, SNESs or Mars systems or Mega, uh, Mega Drives, mostly. There wasn't many people I knew. Not my friends, anyway, had Amigas. It was mostly my brother's friends, of course, which is why I've got so many copies. Yeah. Be interesting to see how many of them still own them or how many still remember them. I don't know. <laughs> the thing is though, with these rubber keys, do you find does does the the prints on the keys tend to wear out over time? Uh don't call me like floppy. I think we all did, Mr. Gumjo. <laughs> yes. The Endorian Forest. Right, not doing too bad, not too shabby. We'll be killed by rabbits. I'm assuming they're rabbits. And of course, you cannot fall from too high a height. Platforms fall beneath you. The green ones are safe and sturdy. Never touch the specky. Um, plus three is not Amstrad, but a brand new owned by Amstrad. Still a Spectrum. Big difference. Yeah, I'm still a lot. Well, I'm, I'm definitely a newbie. No question. It's a hard game. Yeah, I did play many on the Amstrad. No! Don't do it again! Don't do it again! Don't do it again! No, 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 no. Right, is he gonna walk through there? He is, isn't he? You little rascal. Good in the 80s, was a UK gamer. Yeah, I mean, my friend Daniel had one. Um, my friend. My goodness, mate! My friend Adam uh, had the Amstrad. First game I played on the Amstrad, that was the. What was Munch on the Run? Which you might play today. Yeah, I've got it here, actually. Yes. Never finished it. Uh, might play some IO. Um, yes. Let me know what you want to see next, people. So, yes, we've got Manic Minor, of course, it's been done. Sort of. Zynabs, Madness, Rocking Co., Buzzy Badger, Impossible Mole, IO, maybe. Tony, uh, Dig Dug Revival, and maybe It's Magic, and try and fit in some Steel Ranger. If possible. Uh, what even killed you there? It was probably just, well, anything from a bush to a toilet 
Or the enemies themselves can be a kill. But yes, you do have full damage. It might have been something I just clipped with my head. But I imagine like a bush or something or a spike. I'll watch it back after the stream. Spec was popular in Portugal and Spain too. Um, I, a few of my friends had the Spectrum 128, 1.2. I played it a lot. But nothing seems so good as the CG4. I've, I've always preferred the CG4. It's my second favourite of all time. Of course, when Amiga arrived on the scene, yes, that took first place. But it's definitely second place for me. Barnsley, okay. Right, okay, what we'll probably do is we'll do Barnsley Badger, which I'm going to use the zip stick for Monty on the Run. But yes, we'll probably do Barnsley Badger, then Monty on the Run. Um, but yes, for some reason, Mr. Roy is still here. It does sometimes work, but not always, because I'm using the zip stick or with the maxi. Doesn't always work. But most of the games on the carousel does, but this one doesn't for some reason. I don't know why. It's a mystery. See, this probably won't work. No. It is an absolute mystery. Some work, some don't. But yeah, I need to look into that and find out what the issue is. So we're just using this very loud stick here. Right, let me know if it's too loud. It could be. Uh, but yes, of course, quite recently I had to buy myself a box version. I have got a cassette version as well. But yeah, it's brilliant. Came out in 2016. Trevor Sowie and Grog Rodensteiner, published by Sideshot Software. It's fantastic. Out. <laughs> Season 4 is better for 2D play games for sure. The play plus 3 struggles to play Spec games and 2 Spec plays for you. I might message you over the weekend, Mr. War, and see your, what your opinion is. For those that are Specky folks, do you remember the Retro Spec? Awesome group and some awesome conversions. I did join a Spectrum group on Facebook. It's a bit loud. I think one of it was. I don't mind if it's loud sometimes. <laughs> it's too loud, thank you. Is that better? Duck and dog. Dog and duck. I think I said it one way round. Uh, you did... Yes, Alkenstein. Yes, you've... you're very talented, buddy. You're superb. There's nothing... I've never done anything like before. Make my own games, make my own music, apart from, of course, I've said before, on the places where I'm music, music 2000. But yeah, that's it. That's really all I can say. So yeah, this is... Well, there's no, there's no doubt about it. It's very, very monster on the run. So many new games, of course. We're getting so many new games. A few more new games we play today. So many are inspired by others. <laughs> uh, well, I've got a few things. Didn't see Santa Claus personally. Um, but yes, well, hopefully I, I could be. I was a good boy. But I don't go over a chimney. That's the problem. <laughs> um, yeah, it was quite a quiet Christmas. But it was nice to see the family. Uh, I saw my mum and stepdad on Christmas Day. I cooked. And you'll be surprised to hear, or hopefully not surprised to hear, it was actually a very well cooked meal. It was very good. My plate was empty at the end of it, my mum's and stepdad's was not, but it was quite loaded, to be quite honest, not gonna lie. But yes, I, it was nice to cook with a much larger area, and a much, much better sized kitchen, because my kitchen isn't the greatest. It really isn't good. No, I didn't, <laughs> imagine that. My lord. No, I did burn my. No pizza on Christmas Day, and no, I did not burn it. They deserve better than that. Uh, but I very nearly burnt my pizza today. It was it was close. New games are well made. They are. The games were Zub and Exelon. Exelon is that a remake? Is it? Wow. I have got uh, Exelon. That is a good game actually. Again, I prefer it on the C4 to the Mega. But some of the Houston Consultants games on the Mega were a little bit hit and miss, weren't they? They're okay though. But I think C4 is most triumphant on some of them. Right, the stars are additional life, so I'm gonna try and remember how I did on that pickup video. I got quite far actually. But of course you start off with basic skills, we do get double jump and you do also fire a slingshot. But only when you found the slingshot, we can pick up the stones, even though you don't have the slingshot. Uh, so it's an avoiding game, but enemies will respawn if you go off the screen and return to it. God, what was that? The Grand Cave. Uh, any chance of a good shoot em up to the lead? Yes, Zynabs is definitely going to be played today. And that works with the Zipstick on the Maxi, which is why I'll be playing that today. And yes, I'll probably a little bit of IO as well, because it's, I can do not much, much better with a Zipstick than I can on this very, very loud Competition Pro. Yeah, might just shoot up next. Bold Dash, good to see you, buddy. How are you doing? Uh, was the first game we played on the Season 4? 
Last question in this game. Uh, and press and hold menu, the little but round button on the right side ending button. I'll try it off the stream, Mr. Watch. I'll, 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 I'll attempt it over the course of the stream, but yeah, it's a bit of a mystery. But, yeah, some games can work. It's just, the, it's just the, for some reason, it's the um, games on the stick. I was in two minds where we would actually change the ports. Because some games you can, like Ghostbusters. We want to work on port 2 or port 1, whatever the case may be. But yes, I'll try. Yes, we can world. I will be getting an Axie, yes, I definitely, of course. You know me, of course you know me, yes. Yes, that, that's a fairly newish game, of course. Yeah, I don't think DC4 ever had a Dig Dug game. Probably a port or clone, I expect. There was one which I did play on the Amiga, which was on the cover disc. That was quite a good version. Never finished Dig Dug, but of course, it's, it's a classic, isn't it? It's a good game. Yes, we're playing Dig Dug, of course, absolutely so. Right, so we've got to try and find the levers, find the keys, find the coins, the uh, double jump, and of course the sing shots. Well, I know where it is, Jamie, down here. Uh, if you need to, if you first use the original joint, then switch. I'll try, Mr. War. I'll give it a whirl, Mr. War. Love Dig Dug. It's good, isn't it? Again, it's one of those games that features quite a lot of compilations. Not played many of them though. Hello, Kite G! Hello! Good to see you. I haven't heard from you for a while. How you been? I've missed you, buddy. Of course, you've been probably busy. That's probably why. But I've missed you. How you doing? Hello to Belgium. It's been so long since last saw you. I've even forgot where you're from. Belgium. Good to see you, mate. Always good to see you. How you doing? Of course, he's working on his own videos and he does put a lot of time and effort into his videos. We've actually got two, yes, you've got two channels, haven't you? Of course you have. Kite 6G and also Shadow of the Brick. Judged by the title, yes, he does do a lot of work with Lego. And it's stop motion. It does not work for you either before... Right, okay, I'll look into that. Like I say, I'll definitely look into that. Wrecking Coon, no R-Type for the first live stream. I am sure I can fit that in somewhere. Do you know what? I love that. You haven't been here overly long, but I love the fact you already know what my favourite game is. Yes, we'll try and fit some R type in, but the CD War version is a much, much more difficult game, I thought. Uh, of all the versions I've played, it's a difficult one. The projectiles are very fast. But yeah, I love that. <laughs> always sign for an R9, Gundo always says so. And in, in your case, Reckon Crew says so. Where do you live? Leeds, isn't it? Is it Leeds? Please tell me I haven't got that wrong. Um, do you have a nice new year? Where were you with your family? Yeah, I saw my brother and my niece on Boxing Day. We were supposed to go out for a meal, but my brother had a puncher, so it was late. So we just had a, like a, like a buffet at home, or my mum, should we say. Uh, didn't really know what it was on the seat for, just assumed it was be playing it. Yes, my... Yeah. It is my favourite game of all time. It was the first shooter I've ever played, actually, on the Mega. It absolutely blew me away. Not literally. It wasn't like, <laughs> like that, anything like that. It was just, it was just wow, an extreme wow factor. Where do you live, Jim? I live in... I'm, I'm in Kent. I'm in Ashford in Kent, the south-east of England, which is basically the Garden of, of, of England. Not far away from the, cha from the, the channel, the tunnel. So I'm not actually far, far away from France. Yes, and temperature-wise, it's not too shabby down here. It's not too bad. So we don't really tend to get snow down here. Shame. I do, I do like a little bit of snow from time to time. Where do you live? Let's play the living game. Right, no question. Why not? Um... Right, next question. Uh, how many games can you name which were clearly inspired by others? Had a lovely time and had a lovely dinner. Who cooked it? Did you cook it? Your retro kitchen? Yeah, good to see you, Kai. Hope you're well. Hope your family's well. Um, that I in the exact tempo of the song, it seems. Are you getting a maxi? Yes. Um, did he take jumping lessons from Dizzy Egg? Well, sort of. He certainly got it from uh, Monty on the Run. 
But yes, you can also get the double jump, which I haven't got yet, so I need to backtrack. Right, I remember the way back. Down here, he's a good climber. He's a very, very good climber. Um, Leaves, I was right. Whew, my lord, I'm sweating there. <laughs> yes. Do you remember some things? Super Mario Brothers. Oh yes, there was a new chances, wasn't there? I was going to play that. I haven't even tried it. I haven't even attempted it. Just ran out of time. This week's been quite busy. So yes, even though we can fire, I'm not going to fire overly much. To save projectiles. But you do get quite a lot of... Well, it's not actually a high drawing game, but when you start shooting and start killing, you start getting vegetables. Even they're not a very high in value, really. Um, always time for an R9, exactly. I don't have any tattoos, but if I did have a tattoo, it would probably be an R9 somewhere. But no, tattoos not for me. You can make a little sandwich. You do that, Mr. Moore. Nice music. Superb, isn't it? Unfortunately, you can't have music and sound effects at the same time. But we do have, have the double jump. So we've got our first coin. We've got front four, I think. Um, Mr. Nuts, Terry Thomas, very, very fast characters. Yeah, Titan Series and Jana Sisters. Um, hello, Costas Galaxy. Hello, Greece. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Yes, of course, Steel Ranger. Yes, was very, very inspired by Tamakun. Uh, Catechist was, of course, inspired by R Type. Um, this was inspired by Monster on the Run. Uh, there's also a new game, which I can't think its name, also by Sideshine Software, which was inspired by Beachhead. And also Soulless was inspired by Impossible Mission, which we're playing later on today. Not played for ages. We give a whirl. Right, we'll try and find the bow. There's a bow around it somewhere. A little dog. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Cosmic Galaxy. Happy you had a good Christmas. Happy New Year to you. In the Midlands. What's the, what's the weather like in the Midlands? Ah! Undercroft. Happy New Year to, Happy New Year to you too. How you doing, Bonzo Master, by the way? How are you and your brother doing? And how's Michael McCartney if he's here? But yeah, Mr. Nuts. It's a good game. Yes, I... I couldn't believe how long that game is, after seeing your long play. But yeah, I wasn't keen on the sort of the RPG side of it. I like the, of course, it's a very fast moving character. I'm not fast on the snares versions, but yeah, I wasn't keen on the RPG part of the game. But of course, you know, some games like Jim Power, for example, each port is, is different, you know, in terms of the theme. I mean, the SNES version, you've got a bird's eye view level, which I don't particularly like. On the Mega Drive, you've got a uh, side scroll and shoot up level. Um, yeah, just spice up a little bit. But of course, the Mega version is the ultimate, of course. Right, gas works. Happy New Year to you, Sparky! Hello, Sparky! Hello! Good to see you. Are you an uh, electrician by any chance? Good to see you. Make some breakfast, be right back. What's on the menu? Um, is it turkey sandwich, Mr. Raw? It could well be. Mind you, if he's still got turkey left over from Christmas, it probably wouldn't be very nice to eat now. But yes, my stepdad actually brought some turkey over, the remaining turkey, about two or three days later. He said, I'm sick and tired of turkey. It's been turkey lunch, turkey dinner, not turkey breakfast. But yeah, he said, do you want it? Because I'm a bit sick and tired of turkey now. I said, yeah, I have it. Gave some of the you morphed it down. Absolutely morphed it down. But last year I gave him turkey, he didn't even want it. Yeah. Right, the S is, of course, is a checkpoint. So it's always nice to have checkpoints in games like this. But yes, the game itself is gigantic, but of course, the fact is quite fast moving. So we can make some good ground, some good time. Still, quite a lot of this game I have not seen, though. Uh, you could murder a turkey sandwich. Like that. I should really spice my sandwiches up, give them the same sandwiches every single day. Amazing, I don't get really bored with it really, but I should really spice it up a little bit. Um, you haven't had it in a while. Is Pang inspired by Dig Dug? No, but I would say Oops Up is certainly inspired by Pang. Uh, and also Super Obliterator is inspired by Pang and Tullock. In fact, they've taken two games and blended them both together. That's on the Mega. I don't know if it was on anything else. 
But a nice idea, take two great games, blend them together, make sure they a good game actually. Oops, that was okay. Of course, it's never going to be as good as Pang, of course. But it's not a bad little game though. Alright, we'll move on in a moment. It's currently whoa, 10 to 9. Right, Wasted projectiles. We've got 15 projectiles and 4 lights. We've got 3 coins, 1 lever, 1 coin, a slingshot, and a double jump. It's a good game, isn't it? Oh my goodness me! Yeah, it was good. Really good. Yeah, I didn't play it back in the day. It helped having WHD load and a GoTech drive. Back in a bit, no problem at all, buddy. No problem at all. I do like my glass cabinet. However, I have taken the glass out. Because my mad balls wouldn't fit with the glass in. I'm not quite sure what, what, what I'm going to need to do with that. But yeah, I was actually I'm really tickled tickle pick with that. But yes, it was quite an expensive project. It really was. But it's a nice addition. And having more space, more shelves, makes it a little bit nicer. It's more presentable. It's difficult to try and put something like that on the wall on your own. Right, these mystery things over there, it's a mystery to me. It's got to be, because Trevor Stowery likes to do this in these games. I need to find out what that is, is all about. Gunlord X is inspired by Tarkin. So, so many games are inspired by Tarkin. And of course, so many games inspired by aliens or... HR Geiger, for example, but yes, which features quite a lot in Tarkin games, and Zed Out, for example, yeah. Imagine... Uh... CJ and Event, yes, and uh, what's that one I played last stream? Uh... Seymour something, Seymour Seymour, yes, that new game on the Amiga. Which took 30 years to finally reach the light of day, and very much inspired by, well, it's pretty much the same game, isn't it? Character does the same thing. Kanakis, of course, yes, and Denaris. Um Yeah, it's pretty much. Yeah, it's, it's CJ Anthony's antics. The weapons are pretty much identical apart from the peanuts. But you're still throwing bombs. Same way to activate them. Right, where are we going now? I haven't found a bone yet. Um, right, we've got another life though. Seven projectiles remain. There's a carrot. Spikes. Double jump helps with that. Hello, Trustawi. Good to see you, buddy. Of course, you might you might know this game. You might you might know it. You might know it. <laughs> is it weird joining someone's stream and the first game you see is your own? Is that weird? Uh, I did cook dinner. Yes, I stayed here till about eleven. We opened our presents and I started cooking about half past twelve. Yes, we take it in turns for opening our presents so it lasts longer. And, yeah, of course, the turkey takes absolute ages. Um, but, yeah, they like to watch TV, and they watch a lot of TV programs which I'm not a fan of. Like, I watched a... Um, I watched... Oh my god, what's that? Oh, that's the potion, isn't it? Um, I had to watch Doctor Who, I had to watch Strictly Come Dancing, I also watched a few other sort of channels which I wasn't really into. I don't watch TV anyway. It's always nice to see you. It's fantastic, buddy. It really is good. Space Taxi. I love Space Taxi. Now, the Mega version did have Space Taxi, but it's Space Taxi 3. Mr. Nightlord is here. Hello, Mr. Nightlord. Good to see you. Tw Super Trinch is better stronger than Mr. Tetris. Very much so. Believe it or not. Yes. Um, hope you're well, Trevor. Good to see you, Mr. Nightlord. Hope you're both well. Wormhole, so you thought inspired by Jana Sisters? Yes, Jana Sisters also, and Mario, of course, so we did ports and clones. And Sonic as well. I, I, yeah, I suppose. Um, Kid Chaos. Um, uh, maybe Mr. Nut, in a way. Inspired by Sonic. Um, yeah, but certainly Kid Chaos. Yes, that's very Sonic, isn't it? With the pipes and everything. Right, I think the bone is around here somewhere. It's it's arriving on Sunday, Heath. It's a huge delay. So I'm using my old one, the one that was on that wall. I'm um, using that one. But yes, that's going to be very much needed. It's very much... Yes, hopefully it's working okay. But yeah, basically, I'll basically put some books on the wall, or ceiling, should we say, to hold it in place. It shouldn't fall down, though. It shouldn't fall down. Like famous last words. But yeah, Sunday it's going to be arriving. Yes, hopefully it's going to go where I want it to go. And fit there perfectly and on the measurement. Hopefully this time with more space it's going to be 
the worst thing to do. But yeah, ordered it well about a week before Christmas as well. Um, yeah, massive delay. When I ordered it the first time, no delay at all. But you know, I did order it around Christmas, I suppose. Disco pop in, has popped into the stream. Hello, everybody, good to see you. How you doing? I appreciate that. Yeah, a lot of work went into that. Really do appreciate the, uh, the feedback. Uh, the goal, the goal, the goal. I will read it to you. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, meet Barnsley, a lazy, good-for-nothing badger whose addiction to gambling has got him into all sorts of trouble. One night, his local boozer, he overhears a conversation. A gold coin was discovered in a nearby graveyard. It's very difficult to do one-handed. A coin covered with a head of a fabled ruler, Toop and Bodger, on one side. If Barnsley can find the lost treasure of Toucan Bodger, it would solve all his money problems. A great journey awaits as long as he doesn't fall asleep along the way. Yes, you'll find the coins. Basically, he's skint. He wants to earn some money. <laughs> and that will certainly help with his money situations. Um, but yes, it tells you at the top of the screen. Yes, we've got quite a lot at the moment of time. But we're trying to find a dog. Basically, this dog is blocking your path. There's no additional life. I'll pick up that. Bodger and Badger, yes, I used to watch that loads. He loves mashed potato. And I've got some mashed I've been eating quite a lot of mashed potato recently. Not making it, just balls it already made. Just put it in the microwave about two or three minutes. There you go. I don't think it actually kills you though. I'm not sure, but Yes. Now we can go past. Um <laughs> Barnsley, yes. Never been to Barnsley. I remember when Barnsley used to be in the Premiership League. Premier League, I don't think they are anymore. Yeah, when I first played this, I didn't get I didn't get nowhere in this game. I didn't know what you was actually supposed to do. What did I get for Christmas? Thank you for, uh, for asking, Kite 6 It was a bit of a quiet Christmas for me. Uh, not a lot. Um, I got a cinema voucher for my mum. Got some socks. Got some chocolate bars. Ooh, another one. Um, not chocolate bars, chocolates. Uh, some biscuits. Got a little hamper. Uh, my auntie got me 50 quid, cash, I was really delighted with that. Um, yeah, my mum wasn't really sure what I wanted. In fact, she asked me about um, um, a few weeks before. She said, what do you want for Christmas, Jamie? I said, I don't know, I really don't know. So they thought, well, we'll just... He's going to the cinema a lot more now, we'll, we'll buy him a cinema ticket. Oh, we'll definitely use it. I'll definitely use it. Um, I think that was it. Nothing gaming related, not a single thing gaming related. Yeah, the bus saw, yeah. But yeah, if you've got the slingshot, anything can be killed. But really, I, I should be saving the projectiles. In fact, I'll just use all, all of them up. But yeah, you've got to try and find a certain quantity of key. If I've got all the key, you've got to try and find two more coins and one more switch. Which I vaguely remember where it is. Drill, yes, a drill, a drill, a drill, yes, a drill. Did I say drill or saw? Probably saw, though, mate. I've still got my mum's saw, actually, a drill, actually. I haven't given it back yet. I might even buy myself a new drill with that £50 I got for my auntie. That's a really good drill, actually. Really helps a lot. Um. You've got wines, whiskey, underwear, smellies, hopefully not under hopefully not smelly underwear. Um, and an angle grinder, that's interesting. Um, earbuds as well. <laughs> yeah, I got some deodorant from my Secret Santa. Of course, I don't know who got it for me, but maybe they're trying to say something, maybe I'll smell. They also got me a, a um, an air freshener for the car, so yeah, they're really saying something, aren't they? Maybe they say I stink, I don't know. One more. Uh, Trevor Star, we've been playing some um, rocking car. I ain't, I, it's been, I've been meaning to play it for absolute ages. I only played it for the very first time earlier today. It'll be a bit rusty, but I need to play it. Um, you have a clamshell for this game. Yes, I think everyone gets well, not everyone, but a lot of people do get socks for Christmas. It was, it was linked, it's a nice make. 
Right, go on to the next game in a minute, which was going to be a shooting off, wasn't it? I don't know what we agreed on. Might do some Zynax. We might have a quick go of. Uh... Oh, hang on, man. That's what we need. For... Right, we need the lever. That's where it opens. Do you like the sprites in this game as well? Did they come with skin marks? I hope not. If they did, he's probably been a very naughty boy. We'll do some R type, yeah, why not? Two bottles of Jack Daniels. Yeah, was, do you know what? We were talking about Jack Daniels the other day. I don't know if I've actually ever tried it. Um, we want R type. We want it now. Disco Poppin, thank you so much for the donations. Very kind of you. You got an Xmas Mini from Christmas? Is there any not of. I don't use the Mini. Um, I don't use the Mini much. Uh, it has had one update, I think. And one game was added. A game which I haven't actually played before. Right, there's the Switch. Right, um. But thank you so much for the donations. Very kind of you. I have got Super Skid Marks and Skid Marks on the media and the C32. I don't know if it's one of those games you actually finish. It just goes around on a loop, I don't know. Right, move on anyway. It's fantastic, yes it is, it is. But it's, it's a lot more difficult than the media version, I thought. Because there's any projectiles. And hopefully that's not work, that hopefully that's not stuff in the stream. Disco Poppin donated five pounds through Super Chat. I got an A500 Mini for Xmas. Is there any not very well-known games I should try that you or anyone can recommend? Well, I mean, you can, you could do what I did. I bought myself, basically, just when I was doing that review video, I bought myself a USB stick, because I didn't have enough time to go through it all, and that really helped me out. So yeah, you could get yourself one of those. Of course, you can put WHD load on it, that would certainly help. Um, yeah, I mean, some games don't work brilliantly on the Mini, I'm not going to lie. I mean, some games has a lot of parallax, I mean, yes, games like Lionheart and Jim Power. Apidia is also a bit gobbledygook sometimes, a bit glitchy at times, but yeah, some games do work brilliantly. It might have had a few more updates since I last updated, I'm not sure. Right, we're going to be on the next game anyway. Anyway, we're going to do some shoot 'em ups now. A Retro Gamer Annual. Nice. I don't have any. I can't remember the last annual I got. I have got a few, but I think the last one I got, and it's a long time ago, was my Mad Balls one, which is somewhere in my mum's garage. Uh, garage. Loft. Right. Bit of our type. Why not? Uh, where are we? Can't use zip stick on this one. It won't work. Hello, Wayne. Good to see you, buddy. How you doing? Right. Next question. Why not? What were your favourite games of 2023, any system you like? Good to see you, Wayne. How you doing? Our type on Siege 4 is absolutely amazing, in your humble opinion. Jack Daniels is like sucking on burnt matches. Also got a bottle of tequila. My goodness me. The first time I had that was the last time I had that. I was absolutely off my trolley. We did it properly. Uh, you put the salt in the back of your hand, then you lick that, then you drink it, and then you bite on the lemon. I think that was the right order. So, yeah, we did that. It was... It wasn't too pleasant, you say, but... They said, do you want another one? I said, yeah, I guess. Only because they were. But yeah, I was, I was, woo! Limey. Never again. Like vodka. Vodka goes straight through me. It does nothing for me, really. I just, I get so drunk very quick. The first ever time I had vodka, I had two shots. I was, I think I, I slept on the floor that night. I fell on the bathroom floor. I hit me on the sink. No one helped me. They just left me there. Yeah, the first time I had vodka. <laughs> I don't always finish this one, not all the time. Mega version, yeah, pretty much every single time I play it, I finish it now. But yeah, it's 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 a different version this one, it's a different port. And of course, I've got it on the, well, I've got two Kete versions, and yes, it's got quite a lot of lo long loading times on this one. You guys know me so well, don't you? Let me know if it needs a little tweak in the volume. Thousands of games on it, so... Yes, it can be like that, Disco Poppin, yes. It's like if you've got so many collections, which in my case, DVDs, you look at it and think, I've got nothing to watch. I don't know what to watch. And you end up not watching anything. Yeah, it can be like that at times. 
<laughs> Got a five year old rum from Antiqui. Antiqua. Um, both me and Max Levin. Is Max Levin here? I've missed Max Levin here. Uh, if you are here, Max Levin, I'm sorry, I've missed you. Hello, Max Levin, if you're here. Um, appreciate that, that very kind donation, Mr. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, I, when I, I played the scene, <coughs> I played the Amiga version first. And when I found out it was on the C4, in fact, I bought it from John Menzies at Hampstead Valley Shopping Centre. And I just could not wait to get home and play it. But yes, the loading times are long. In fact, you've got to load... Every level has got to be loaded. In fact, I think, yes, you've got to try and turn, you've got, basically got to turn the tape over at some point. It's a long loading time, but of course it's worth the wait. I did read your chat. Good. <laughs> oh, Lord. Good game of sound chat. You have used some of the mix of vodka. Yeah, don't mix anything. Especially me. Jamie, you've got so many drinks to the... Right, we're going to finish this one quickly. Right, we've got a can of coke. We've got a can of coke next. That won't go cold. It's already cold. Hello, Mark Gordon. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. So, yeah, what were your favourite games of 2023? I have to admit, I'm struggling to answer that. I can't think of many at the moment of time. There wasn't many I played. Not on modern systems, anyway. Uh, but of course, on the CD4, Amiga, there's quite a few. Uh, but, yeah, it's got my PlayStation 5 quite late. Um, yeah. In shot. Should be. Yeah, this is a very difficult version, I thought. Bullets are really quick. And also, some of these ROMs are a little bit dodgy because, yeah, sometimes you get past the level and then you lose your skills, especially your speed, for the next level, which really does mess you up. Force on ah! Other versions, yes, you keep your force and your speed. But you can shoot some of the enemy projectile. Well, it's rare I missed the force, but I did on this one. Look how fast those bullets are. They're faster than mine. Um, not played it yet. Still not played it. But I know a few people have finished it. In fact, um, was it Max Levin? No, not Max Levin. Sorry, it was Tim Pilot. He's not like he's fifth and left playthrough already. I mean, that is extreme. Robert Gray has finished it. Mr. War has finished it. I'm sure there's more than that. I'm sure there's a lot more than that. Oh. Come on, Force. Play with me. Work with me is what I meant to say. God, really? Work with me is what I meant to say. Um, how you doing, Max Levin, by the way? Oh, of course, we shoot free. How can I forget? I've not finished it yet. I've not finished it yet. I have got past... No, it's level f four boss. I haven't got past that one yet. Um... So yeah, what games you guys been playing recently? And also, a lot of these boss battles, I have to, I do change my tactic on this day. Um, quickly, Jamie. No, he got time. Now the only got to shoot on this one is very, very small. Really small. Boom. Not a fan of it, no. Favourite games, Leicester. Leicester's good, got box version of that. Uh, Astro, Mega Drive, Aliens, Dark Descent, Xbox, PlayStation 5. Uh, game of, yes. Anyone remember the 2022 game, Tunic? Oh, mate. The one with the fox. Was that on the game? No, my, uh, Mega Drive. I'm sure. I think I know what you mean, though. Yes. Pardon me. Probably the code. It was a bit gassy. Um. Robocop was pretty good. Save for all the glitches. 
well. Hopefully it doesn't have the same glitch that the C4 version did with the warehouse stage. See, now I've lost my speed, so I've gone back to really slow again. I can't remember that's the case in my tape version. Let me try that one day. Yeah, this is a much, much more difficult stage. Ah! For that reason. Oh! Um. Hold on a bit. I would love to spend a retro gaming weekend with Jamie. Oh, I've got more space now. Yeah, these are just I the best tactic is just to avoid them, really. Yeah, it's 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 so nice now. I, I've got more space now. Ah, goodness me! In the force. Oh, this joystick. In the force. In the force. Be with you. It's not at the moment of time. Come to me! Even that, it's difficult to get hold of. I got it. Uh, Toy Series 100, I need PlayStation 3 Perspective 3! My oh, goodness me, trying to read at the same time. Did enjoy Stray, an unusual game I thought I'd hate surprise me. So basically, is it you're living like a cat? Is it like... Is it like a bird's eye view or anything like that? Or is it like a first person or third person? There was a well. There might there's a game I might play today. It's called It's Magic, and you basically play as a cat. It's a very newish game as well. Unfortunately, it's got no in-game music. Um, oh my goodness me! But um, it's a really good game actually. I'm sure we'll play it in, at some point later on today. I've uh, been playing Retro Exodus, PlayStation 4, Neptune Lander, CG4, Road Rash, Mars System. The atmosphere is very good, but the glitches were quite annoying. What glitches were there? Um, six times, that's impressive. Oh, it's six now. My lord. Um, sounds a bit like Half-Life, Mr. Freeman. Oh, I mean, Max Levin. Gotcha. Yes, it's, it, it seems so long ago, doesn't it, Mr. Mr. Um, Rusty? Yeah, and when Spears House was here. I haven't seen Mr. Spears House for a couple of streams. I hope it's well. Um, yeah, it seems so, I mean, yeah, I saw Swedish. 2020, just before lockdown, and of course, yes, Russell James, he, just, he had the he had the worst weather to drive down. It was absolutely raining cats and dogs, and uh, yeah, it was just before Christmas, wasn't it? And yeah, it had a blast. Yeah, I can't believe how long it's been now. Oh, Hold on a second. Um, hope you well, Ox. By the way, how's how's life treating you? Oh, isn't it? It's not Mr. Force this time, baby. Oh, where are ya? Where are ya? Um. Uh, Mark! Hello, Mark Jones! Good to see you! How you doing? Are you new? I haven't heard your name before. If you are new, welcome to the street. Hey! Gee, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I have to admit, this joystick is not great. It's already hurting a lot. So I'd rather use a zip zip, it won't work with this. Well, not this ROM anyway. Yeah, this is very different. Very different. Um. What's my f <laughs> well? It's actually this, but it's no surprise really. Being our type, is my favourite game of all time. But yeah, I love my shooter mark. One of my favourite games on the City Four is Trojan Warrior. Of course, this as well. Uh, I love Henry's House. Another fantasy game. Uh, there's loads. I have got quite a large collection. Um, but yeah, shooter marks are definitely my favourites. No question. I hope you're well, Mark Gordon. Are you working this weekend? Um. What's your favourites? Yes, Jamie, he plays a cat. Old, old Stray, yes. Ill Lad was good, yes. I've got quite close to finishing at one point, but yeah, I haven't played it for a while. That's a game I did not play back in the day. It was a very good shooter, not challenging though. It was good though. 
Uh, did not know if you did, but I cannot find it. I'll, s I'll send it to you more. I think I have, but I'll send it to you again. It's not a problem. Not a problem. Yeah, we've got to shoot. It's really small. It's there somewhere. <laughs> was he... Was he... Huh? See what I mean? It's buggy. It's buggy. Really buggy. Um, I've never seen that before. That is rare. That doesn't happen. The Dr. Teratops... Goodness me, if it's glitched. It's crashed big time. Well, he has a rough time. He's been killed so many times, different versions. But I've never seen it do that before. <laughs> I haven't played Zeta with a while. Yeah, I think this is bugged out. Oh, that's interesting. Really interesting. A big bad glitch, yes. <laughs> um. So, Bonzo Master, what's your plans for the weekend? What are you up to? What games have you been playing? Uh, Black Court was your fave? What system's that? Um, another Christmas rush job? You've broken the game, I have. No surprise, is it? Yeah, I streamed R-Type 2 on the Amiga last year, and I had a really bad bug on that one, on level 2. In fact, the boss battle disappeared apart from one part of him. You just saw this one arm moving around. It's, you can still kill it, though. But then R-Type 2 on the Amiga is also very glitchy on WHD Road. Yeah, I still killed it, though, but yeah, it took a while. It was nice to see the whole boss really on the screen, lots of bits of it. We've got to level 5 instead of winning. Here's the other... That's good, that's good, that's good. That's good, Mr. Wall. Steel Ranger is probably my favourite. Yes, it's, it's right up there, isn't it? Loving Metal Warrior Ultra, but haven't finished it yet. Love Whistle. Hello, John. Good to see you, John. How you doing, buddy? I do like Shadow Beast on the seat 4 Yeah, I do like it. Such a different version. I mean, you have about 25 lives in that one. Apart from the usual 12 you got on the Mega version. I've got it on the Master System as well. I... It's okay. Of course, the Mega version is the ultimate. Going to see my aunt that we haven't seen for years. Everything is sorted for the funeral. It's Tuesday. I hope it goes well. That was a shock to the system when I heard that. I was actually at work. I literally just went to my lunch. I put my phone on and then I saw your comment. I was devastated, buddy. Um, Sam's Journey is fantastic. Zeta Wing, of course. Yep. Uh, I haven't finished uh, Sam's Journey. But it was a Christmas special a couple of years ago. And that was brutal. Last Ninja, of course, is fantastic. I very nearly had Last Ninja 2 as my intro today, but I, I would have got copyright, that's for sure. Always do. Black Hawk down the PC. I've got it on film. I've got a film of that. On DVD. Right, I'm trying to break this one. Yeah, because you start off quite slow, and these are quite quick. Difficult to, uh, to avoid, should we say. A bit on the left, anyway. Sam Jones is, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's up there. With certainly one of the greatest from ProDivision. It was actually Lee Robertson that mentioned it to me. I hadn't heard of it before. But after moving back to Ken, I was sort of getting back to my retro ways. There were so many games I missed out. I think that was fairly new to the, the scene, pretty much about the time I got back. I moved back. Yeah, Lee Robertson first mentioned to me. I went onto the site and bought the box. And yeah, it's brilliant. I really loved it. So great. We're still getting these amazing games. Here we are now in the year 2024. And that's box as well. Um, we love it at Polex. We do indeed. Absolutely sorry. This thing shoots at you. The Mega version doesn't. Um, yeah, that was the year I moved back. Um, yeah, it was July 2017 I moved back. I was 
started the channel, 2000, yeah, it was late 2017 I started it. Seems a long ago now, doesn't it? Hope you're well, John, good to see you. Alright, let's concentrate on this for a moment, though. And again, different tactic on this version. Crash, is it really crashing? Pick squares, I'm still waiting for the box version of that to arrive. All did ages ago, but it had a they had a problem with the publisher, didn't they? I bet the publisher went bust. I've got the version though, I've got it, but I've not played for apps in ages. Woohoo! Got it eventually! Uh when really it pulled up the emoji. Time for a new computer. Oh my god, that's not cheap. Did you know there were two versions of our type on C64? No, I didn't. So there's also two Wonder Boys. The Wonder Boy is also one of my favourites on the C64. I think there was a better were released for some reason. No, I thought it was just one. Maybe the other one got rid of the bugs, not sure. Great point gaming, hello everyone, good to see you. Thank you, Andrew Brian, I really appreciate that. Still not play Pig Squares. It's difficult. Um, it does have a draining time limit, I think. Well energy bar, one or two. Some games I wish it didn't have that. Alright. The music is sensational in this game. But yeah, it's a bit buggy at times, but yeah, it's hard to I'll, I'll, I'll let it go. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I remember now. But I got round it now, but yes, uh. Yeah, there was like a gold cart as well, wasn't it? Like an extra special one. I can't remember what one I've got now. It was so long ago I ordered it, but my order still stands. Looking forward to get it. 53 watching, thank you. Excellent, fantastic, I love it. Good to see all of you. The music is why I prefer this version to all 8 bits. I have played a lot of versions. I've played, of course, Amiga. PC Engine, Mars System, uh, PS1, Dimensions on Xbox, uh, Mars System, if I said that or not, of course there's a new version on the Mega Drive, <laughs> um, but yeah this was the second version I played, I don't know if you can shoot these on this phone, hello Nipshin, Pickaboo, I see you, hello everybody, you've ordered it as well? Fantastic. How are you doing? Happy New Year to you, Mr. Nep- Woo! Nepshin. Hope you are well in France. Uh, Rainbow Islands is a fan- yes, big fan of Rainbow Islands. I haven't finished it without cheat before. Oh my goodness me. It's on the Amiga version I've played it the most. I have died multiple times on Robot Island, which is the second last island. But it is so good. It's so difficult though. The time limits and anything that flies and anything on the island of dough is the worst. Right, force, do your thing, force. Kill those guns, force. No. I'm stuck. No. No. I made a mistake, I might well have done. Yes, I have. It's an yes, annoyingly good. It's a good description. It is a good description. Yes, the one thing I'd like to change with Rainbow Islands. I mean, yes, having no continues at Island Six is mean, but a few games did do that. Hello, Lee, retro gaming the horse. Um, it's. I think I would change the time limit a little bit. I think it just needs more time, especially on the Island of Doe. Which so many uh, flying enemies in that, uh, that level. And of course, you just don't get any time to make your move. And by the time you get to Robot Islands, you've got hardly any life remaining. And it will say, you cannot continue from this point. Like Silkworm. And the other games do it as well. Uh, the Oath does it as well. You can't continue from this point. How are you doing, Lee? Happy New Year to you. Really love it, but also get so mad. It can be like that, yes. 
still fun though. No, you can't take the force. <laughs> it's been short and sweet, it's got alright. It's got alright, thank you. My first day at work was on Tuesday, got through it. It's had its fair share of busy times, it's had its fair share of not so busy times. But, you know, with a product like Paxo, yes, it's going to be in high demand up towards Christmas. But after Christmas, you shouldn't have as much demand. But it pays the bills. Um, so, um, Kai6G, what have you been up to? Um, finally catching a stream, mate, you've been a busy boy. Are you still working with Graham? In the same, same company? Right. Okay, I'll quick go with Zynet after this one. I'm in that sort of shoot up zone right now. It's difficult trying to get the force in the right location. If they can find space. Okay. You don't get the fireballs in this one. Ah! Which is good, because that's the worst bit in my opinion. They'll be spawned. Um, I'm going to have to Yeah, happy new year to you. Good to see you. So, was you a good boy, Nipshin? Did Santa Claus visit you on Christmas Eve? Come down your chimney, you know, any presents for you? Under the tree? Right, hold on a second. Let's try and remember the tactic on this one. This one fires at you. In different movements. In fact, I've got the wrong weapon, really. It's, it's, it's crazy, because I've played these games so much. But this is the only one which my tactics are totally different. Yes, like that. Normally I put the force on the back. Always break your New Year's resolutions, Mark. Yeah. I've made a few over the years, but it's... Yeah, I don't really stick with it. I should. How was your sandwich, by the way? How was your breakfast, by the way? <laughs> Thank you. Not the greatest performance, but it's been quite some time since I've played it. Yeah, I'd rather use a zipstick, though. Another fantastic stage. It is good. Yeah, shame it's, very, it's shame it's a bit buggy though. Love watching shmups, but I am really bad at them. Never know when to focus on killing ways or avoiding enemies. It's very difficult to try to read at the same time, but I love it. Scuba Dive is a pretty good game on the C4. I've just got an underwater drone. Oh really? So I'll be testing that for the next few weeks. No, I'm back to the start, aren't I? Damn it. No. Never mind, we'll go for a little bit of Zynab. So we're going to switch over to the zip stick. Give my thumb a little bit of a rest. Right, it should work. It worked yesterday when I tried it. But yes, yeah, some are working with this and some are not working with this. It works. Brilliant. Right, there you go. I do have it on the MIG as well. Apologies about the green screen, but it's a very, very green case. Have a fantastic game. Let me know if it's too loud or too quiet. I funny feeling it could be too quiet. With that, I'll just increase it a little fraction more. Why not? I've not played it for a while. Um, right, next question. Uh, what games are you most looking forward to to playing in the year 2024? Also had it on Amiga, and now it's very easy to find them. In fact, it's right at the end. I can't reach it. It's there, I just can't find it. It's right at the very end. Love this tune. Yep, Jamie, Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve were great. I spent unforgettable moments with the fan. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Love this tune. S SPC 5K, I guess. Yeah, good to see you, Wayne. Good to see you. Uh, it pays the bills and buys you games. Exactly. Exactly. I'm trying to be good, though. I'm trying to be good. Yes, hope yes hopefully this year. I mean, if we don't get it this year, then something's really going to hold me wrong. But yes, we should get it. I mean, it was going to be March, I mean, originally. Uh, I mean, my Rocking Co, which I'll be playing later on today, this took a while to arrive. Um, in fact, the demand was so high, there's actually a second wave. So if you want a box version, you missed out the first time around, you might get lucky for the second one. Because there will be a second run. Um, but yeah, I played it for the very first time early on today. We'll play it later on today, yes, but I haven't got far. 
Yes, it's superb, isn't it? Uh, maybe new homebrew. Picture Quest, uh, Elden Ring, downloaded content. There's been a lot of that, isn't there? Uh, Final Fantasy VII Part Two. loads of indie retro vanians. Kroger, yes, that was of course um, Michael Borman, wasn't it? Looks so good, doesn't it? It's so good that, you know, not only are we getting these fantastic games, but yeah, of course, the video was amazing. But it's nice that you're sort of trying something else as well, and it, it, it's so good. It's so good, I approve. This is another fantastic game. I played it back in the day, but I still have never finished it. But I have got to level 4 on a number of occasions. But it's tough. But on the zip stick, it is, it, it's a lot easier. It's still difficult though, but it's certainly a lot easier. But it's just a really good shoot I want to get. It ticks all the boxes. Unfortunately, I've got like, no in-game music at all. It's explosive. No, I haven't played Livingstone. No, I haven't. Oh yes, Gran Turismo 6, yes, I have, well, I didn't really sort of get into them really, I've got the first, no, I've got the second game on the PlayStation 1, and I've got number 5 on the PlayStation 3, and that's it, that is it, Scourge of the Kind, looking forward to that, um, that's going to be great, isn't it, I've got a lot of time into that, it's going to be worth it, it's going to be really, really good. Yeah, I've been seeing the updates on Facebook, it's really good. They don't actually have to kill the bosses, sometimes they fly away. Oh, but no checkpoints. Uh, was always a CG4 guy. Whoop, heat up the milk, Mr. Roar. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Nvidia 2, but I think he said he was going to be doing the Neo Geo version first, I think. Jasper has got some dreamies, he does. He does like his dreamies. Yes, he got some dreamies for Christmas. Not just from me, but also my mum got some dreamies as well. He's been a bit sport. Uh, one second. The Harness. Probably I.O. I expect. Into Oblivion. Or this. But there are a lot of them I have not played though. Yeah, this one would be much more easier if you had checkpoints. It doesn't have any. Not a single one. Armalite. Yes, I like the Amiga version as well. In fact, I preferred the Amiga version. But the C4 version is a totally different game, isn't it? Um, I haven't got far. I haven't got far in the Amiga version either. Yeah, this was also ported to the Amiga, but it, it's, it's not in the same league. I mean, the spaceship is totally different. It doesn't look anything like this! Nothing like this. Again. Shame I couldn't get this game to start back in the days. Couldn't get a great memory. Um, yeah, I've got Armour Light, but I don't think the ROM works. I'll try though. Um, but yeah, it's a good question. What is the, yes, the most difficult shoot map on the C4? I mean, there's some, so many great shoot map on the C4. Uh, I mean, Catechis, Denaris, R-Type. Unfortunately, Zed out didn't feature. Cross out, of course, was there. Um, right, let's restart. Uh, Oscar Shannon yeah, looking forward to that. GJ6 and the new 8-bit and 16-bit games. Um, but yes, mine, I don't know actually. Uh, Via 2, of course, is up there. Definitely. Boss, is it Boss Attack? Uh, looking forward to that. Is it Boss Attack? Um, what else am I looking for? Um, have a little think. I don't think there's any more R-Types coming this year. I would like to try out the Mega Drive version. Get it working, of course. Uh, got really far in this one, but I couldn't finish it. Just too hard. Oh, season four, I'm looking forward to the new adventure game, Axiom Fantastica. Yeah, there's a few adventure games coming out. Hello, Axel Folly, good to see you. Um, yes, yes, I saw a few being posted on Discord. Oh, I'm like two, that's interesting. Yes, Delta was good. I enjoyed Delta. Right, one more go at that. 
Yes, Delta was good. Yes, one of my friends copied that one back in the day, and yes, I was actually blown away by that one. I'm not finished it though. But the music by the Hubble is superb. Um, but yeah, in terms of modern games for this year, I, I don't know. I really don't know. It's extremely behind modern games. I'm still trying to catch up with quite a lot of them, really. From last year, and the year before that, and the year before that. Um, I'm sure Sarah J. David will throw out another shoot em up this year, I expect. Always interested to see what game she's working on. Right, should I get past this first level this time, Jeremy? But these also wear off. Wear off over time. Tekken 8. Mm. Yeah, I prefer the early ones. Always have. I sort of lost interest after the Tekken 5. Just got a little bit too crazy, really. But I love 3, 2 it are my favourites. Definitely. Three is three is the ultimate. These bullets, they sort of look like that. Hopefully you get a suitable title this year. Oh yes, you're gonna get loads of of course from uh, Mr. Trevor Stowey. He's a busy man. You've got Impossible Mission 3 as well, that's gonna be great. Uh, there's also a hun uh, is it hunchback clone? Uh, coming out, also by Trevor Sowie, which looks amazing. Um, yeah, that, that looks good as well, yes. Absolutely. Right. Toki, yes. Yes, I forgot about that one. Yeah, that was quite unexpected really, wasn't it? There's also a new game pretty much inspired by... Well, it, it's, it's very much New Zealand story. In fact, you actually play as the, the Kiwi. Just the levels are totally nothing different. There you go, got there eventually. Tekken 4 and 5 were quite good. Yeah, um. Yeah, I quite liked um, Tekken Tag Tournament. I didn't play Tekken Tag Tournament 2, but I quite liked Tekken Tag Tournament 1. But yes, after a while. I mean, I like the original cast as well, the, the original characters, the original costumes, the original moves. Yeah, I did watch David Jensen and his brother Michael play that. I wasn't sure, even though it's of course it's very early days and you've got four characters. And of course, the graphics look ridiculous. So good. But yeah, for me, my biggest memory is, is three and, and two. In fact, I got them in that order. So yeah, this game, you basically just keep topping up the weapon and it will slowly downgrade. In fact, my speed has gone down. Of course, one thing I also love about Tekken is, I suppose Mortal Kombat in a way, they like to have all these sort of bonus stages, and you had the, the Tekken Ball mode, they had bowling as well, which is a nice touch. And of course, Mortal Kombat done that in like Deception and Armageddon, they like Mortal Kombat chess, and there was a, a, ra ugh, a racing game as well they threw in. Or story mode as well. I mean, it's just cool. You get more of your money. Very much so. Right, follow me. Keep topping those up. You don't want to lose one out. Right, hold on a second. Um. These don't home in, I don't think. You do get the occasional slowdown in this game, because at times there's a lot going on. Woohoo! We're gonna 
Oh, there now! Um, the asteroid belt, exactly. What old C4 games would you like to see redone? Oh my goodness me. Uh, anything that's buggy would like to be redone would be nice. As long as you do it well. <laughs> Just don't ruin the game. I mean, it's, it's just a little tweak. Can we just maybe just repair the bugs and leave it as that? That'd be a good thing. Um, yeah, it was fantastic. Who is your favourite character in Tekken? Mine is Lin Xiaoyu. Of course, she was one of the new ones. Yeah, she was my favourite. And Jinkus Armor, of course, is one of the ports. Hey, boy! Um. Yes, improved, yes. I mean, yes, I've heard that the Robocop on CD4 has been redone. In fact, they got rid of the error, they got rid of the bug, apparently. I've not tried, I've not tried it though. Sometimes it slows down. Hello, fake user, hello, everybody. The king of Iron Fist tournament. Yes. This is Zynax, by the way, I'm sure you know. Difficult level. Um, right, boss battle. I don't, know if, I don't know if I've played number seven, actually, now think about it. My thumb is hurting already, a lot, actually. Believe it, Doctor B. He was crazy, wasn't he? But most of the time, he's back. <laughs> yes. Say no more. My goodness me. Yeah. First time I saw him, I thought, is he drunk? Maybe. But he's a strong character. Yeah. Not just on his feet. Uh, they should we make Karnoff? Karnoff. It's platoon bait. Um. Tattoo based on the film, yes it is. That was Ocean, wasn't it? Oh my goodness mate. Yeah, they did so many, didn't they, Ocean? Um that's why they love Dr. B's gameplay, it's very unpredictable, yes. One minute's on the floor, and also he's jumping around all over the place, doing back flips and Attacks that um What's his name? Forest Law does. Yeah, he has got some impressive kicks, but yes, he pretty much does the same thing. Starting by laying on his back, he ends up on his feet. I don't know how old he is in that character. Um, how you doing, fake user, by the way? Good to see you. Yeah, I need to try out this new... This new uh, 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 Robocop. In second 3, the other, other mode, second bag... Yes, I liked... Yeah, you've got the beach ball, and you've got the iron ball or something, which basically can do 100% damage. I do use that one. Survival. Uh, what game are you referring to? Tekken. I don't like to pause it. I know what you're thinking. Pause it. No. Yeah, when I first got Tekken 3, I was absolutely addicted to that. I spent the whole weekend trying to unlock all the characters. It didn't take that long, actually. And of course, then they released it on the PlayStation Classic. And I started playing it on there, and I thought, well, I'm going to have to do it over again. And I'm happy to do it. Still haven't done it, though. Roger, Ranger. I have that. We've got four though. Um, let's slow down. Yeah, I did do very well. Ah, Rocky Ray, Ranger. Um, can I pause it? No, you can't pause it. Surely. Hello, Bonsai AC. Hello, everybody. I don't think you can pause this game. 
How are you doing? Happy New Year to you. It would be nice to have a visual dizzy redone. Yes. Maybe not roll so much. He does roll, doesn't he? A lot. But he's an egg, what do you expect? But yeah, when there's balls nearby, he tends to roll like no tomorrow. Um, some years ago, it started completing... Oh, Tekken Force! Yes, that's what it was. That was good. Yeah, really cool thing that was. Yeah, basically, it, it, it's... I suppose it's like short Streets of Rage, but we did with Tekken. But it has a time in it, which I don't think it should have had. Considering one of the bosses is, of course, one of the Tekken characters himself. But yeah, that was cool. Uh, yes. Very good, got very drunk. Can someone help me identify the game? It was the Commodore 64, I think it was a ninja game. It could be Ninja, Last Ninja, Last Ninja 2, Last Ninja 3. When you did something in the game that can't understand the speech synthesis, said so sorry. A ninja game with speech. Uh, well that rules uh, Ninja out, and Last Ninja out. Um, oh dear, I'll have a think about that one. Yes, Adam's Family on the C4 was nowhere near as good. Yeah, I have played it. But also the SNES version, I'd like to try one day. Uh, Carl North, it was horrible on C4. I don't think I've played it. I don't think I have. The Constraint Turning and Miss... Oh my god, missed that. Miss Al... Uh, the Attacks. King was yours. King was good. Good at grapples, wasn't they? My dog farting <laughs> can only be described as a very pungent, sweet, and sour sauce. Uh, like beach ball, taking falls as well, beat them up, and yeah, the new ones got very bowling. Yes, I didn't realise they kept on going with that. The Doom mod. Uh, I've never played a, a one two eight uh, ox. I had one back in 1985. I was too young. Um. Take an 8 2024 and get a new computer that can handle the game. Aside from that, I don't even have any other games in mind for the moment. I yeah, hope you're well. Actual folly. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, I was aware of Arm Light 2. Uh, Ninja from Soft Gold the Adventure. I think it was an older game. Very. Uh, um, hello, Robert Gray. Good to see you, buddy. How you doing? Uh, right, what do you want to see next? Should we tone it down a little bit? Should we go with some Rocky and Co? Not for that. No, Dig Dug. We're some, it's we're going for some Dig Dug. Right, let's switch over to joysticks. Yeah, we're going for some Dig Dug, then we'll go for some Rocky and Co. Just mellow it down a little bit. How are you doing, Mr. Robert Gray? How's the recovery going? Um, this should work. It worked earlier. Um, I also bought that the other day. That's very much like Beachhead. Uh, it's a bit unorganised, but it was a bit rushed. Um... Dig Dug, Dig Dug, Dig Dig Dig, ah, next page, no, Dig Dug Revival, there we go, I've had one go earlier on today, that was it. Got home from work, I had a crash, I, I crashed out for two hours, I was knackered. Always am. Steel Ranger, I'll do some Steel Ranger as well. Even folks saw him late, I was here for Manic Miner and then Barnsley Badger and had to go, found a best ever gaming deal of the year on Facebook, ooh, I'm intrigued with what that is, yes. What have you bought? What have you bought? Uh, you got, you got, very good, but very drunk. Are we, Ban Bonsai? Yes, the Bonsai dudes. Two Bonsai dudes. Um, yeah, good to see you, Robert Gray. No worries about... No, no need to apologise. No need to apologise at all. Some years ago, a guy started remaking Stunt Car Racer. Looked and sounded awesome. Never got finished. That's a shame. Good game, though. Um, didn't play it back in the day, though. But it's good on the Mega. Oh, look, cables tangled here. Alright. Does Jasper like to play games? I wish he would. I wish he really, really wish he would. He likes a game with chasing a piece of string. He likes that game. Right, we'll do easy for now and go from there because I'm trying to read at the same time. I'm definitely not a master. An Oxford Quest 2 with pro head straps and all gear for £80. Nice. That's VR, right? <laughs> I haven't got to that point yet. I'm thinking about it though. So of course, we all know the rules of this game. I'm sure everyone has played, at some points, a game like this. You basically try and inflate them and then pop them. 
They can escape. We'll try and do it before they escape. We can kill them with rocks, which will points. That's a good way of getting combos. But it's a classic, isn't it? And also, they have sort of used this game in other games. Like, point blank, for example. There was a, a, a level in that that was based on this game. You've got to shoot them, like you do, in this. Pop them, basically. Um, pump it up, yes. Of course, they can go through the platform. I'm doing right now, right on cue. Uh, Axel, so much. Gotta check that video out. Literally haven't seen that game. Uh, Octus Quest. Yeah, I need to try and investigate something like that. But I haven't played the place in five. Well, well over a month now. In fact, I've been firing up the Xbox One recently, but more so just watching films rather than playing games. Did watch quite a lot of films during the Christmas shutdown. You're bidding on a visual. Ooh, that's one game I don't have. Stunt Car Racer. But again, it's a really nice version. This one really is good. Done a really good job of it. I'm assuming this is a completed version. Um, mate, fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm tempted to bid it for my, 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 myself, but I'm not going to. But I wish you... Yeah, I hope you get it. Do you have mini box versions in your collection, Mr. Tim Pilot? Right. That's cheap. I wouldn't know if it's cheap or not. Of course, they do retreat just like that. Um, who's your main character in Tekken 3? Mine is Huanong. Yeah, it took me ages to try and realise how to pronounce that one. Yeah, it's Ling Shao Yu for me. I like um, Jin Kazama as well. He was good. Those crazy shoes. Crazy high heels. High heel sandals. That's what they look like. Um... They can flame you. You've got four. Well, you can't leave on the edge of my seat like that. What ones do you have? Right, I'm gonna wait a little bit. Delay it a little bit more. Stop running away. Predator Gaming, thank you for the like. I appreciate it. Uh, haven't tried it yet completely, but it works. But I'm charging at the moment. It's immaculate. That's good, that's what we want. Yes, if it's not in a good way, I don't, I'm not interested. <laughs> Nasty way to go. Not just for him, but for me. Um, Brexit really screwed up getting boxed games from eBay. Delivery to Ireland. Yeah, I mean... It sort of has sport it a little bit, isn't it? Well, no, not a little bit, a lot of it. But yes, I'm still buying games, but not as much as I was. But yeah, it's quite difficult now to try and get them in immaculate condition. But I keep trying, I do keep looking. Buy now from Germany, but it's expensive. Microprose Golf, see, I don't have that one. Grand Prix, I don't have that one. F15, I don't have that one. And Dogfight, I don't have that one either. Or do I? I might have Dogfight, I can't remember now. Well, there you go, you see. Maybe a fifth, you never know. Uh, got f I don't know if I should do escape at this point. Surely I don't. Right away. Right, additional life. Boom. Um, only, uh, sorry, I'm trying to catch up in the chat. Um, uh, can't imagine Robert. I can game I actually played. What this one? That's good. Did you get any games for Christmas, Wrecking Crew? Well, I'll get out of here. Run away! Uh, I used to. Deeply invested in Tekken 3 online. I've never played it online. 
That's one thing I've never done. In fact, I don't think I've played any PlayStation 1 games online. Or PlayStation 2, for that matter. PlayStation 3, yes, I did. But it took me a long time until I got myself a decent internet to do it. Um... Can imagine. Not games for you. Got a phone charger for your... Motorbike. Oh. Are you still... You're a skateboarder, aren't you? Is that right? Was it roller boots? It's some sort of extreme sport, isn't it? Hope I'm not getting a bit of a tangle. If I am getting a tangle, there's no surprise. I always do get a bit of a tangle. Yeah, I've, I've got a bike. I got it a couple of years ago. I think I've only used it about five times. It's just in the way all the time. But yeah, I did buy myself a phone holder. Bought myself a D-lock. But yeah, I bought the bike itself for 70 quid. That's cash. Yeah, this is like, yes, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it a lot more often, keep fit. I just haven't. You've got a Pico 4 for your PC. What's a Pico 4? Two hundred, four hundred. Uh, no gifts for you, got a phone charger mobile. It's a VR, gotcha. Could you do a repetitive stream in the fi A competitive stream? Yes, it's something I would like to do, yes. Using Amiga Live, what are we referring to? Yes, I have spoken to a few people about that. Right, I'm getting out of here. No. Get going, Jamie, get going. <clears throat> I'm chased by multiple, I don't know what they are, characters. Nice. Uh, Battlefield and SOCOM. Heard of those. I've not played many games like that. Um, Tekken 3 Online is only available for... Oh, it's emulator. Right, something I don't do. There's an optimised version that runs the game only. Gotcha. I almost... I know almost of Dr. Boo B's moves, so I suppose the main... Yes, your Shimitsu was good. Even though he has a sword, there's not many moves where he does use it. I suppose it would be a little bit hardcore if he did use it, I suppose. It's never going to be like cutting their arms off or anything like that. Run, run, run. Could get quite a combo this time as it will. No. Okay. I do have Instagram, yes. I don't use it much. I used to use it loads, but I don't use it very much now. Three? Don't know nothing. Yeah, Lei Long was good. He was actually on the demo, wasn't it? There was uh, Lei Long and Eddie Gordo on the demo. I think a lot of people liked using Eddie Gordo because he was, again, he just pressed the buttons and he just, just does these crazy over the top moves. I don't know if he was a gymnastic, I don't know, but yeah, he does do backflips very easily. And Kurumishu was quite good as well. But yeah, she had a slightly shorter weapon. She had a, a knife. We've got some motorbike stuff on there and some rollerblades. Yes, I used to have rollerblades. And a skateboard. But yeah, I, I did ride my bike a lot back in the day. And I played a lot of football. And of course, you can't compare those two, but yes. Wasn't very good at skateboarding. I was okay at rollerblading. I was okay at ice skating. That was quite good fun to do. Didn't fall over that much, actually. Now thinking about it. Yes, I do like Wildy Coyote. He's he's a cool character, but very unlucky at the same time. Yes, he kept trying. He kept trying, like Tom from Tom and Jerry. They just kept trying and trying and trying, but we was always rooting for him. Just once. I think once he might have got close to capture the robot. I don't know if he actually did. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Um, but yes, I love two players. But yeah, I, I, well, two players. I do like beat em ups, that's what I meant to say. But I haven't played many. Apart from a few on the PlayStation 1, my brother. But yeah, Miga, I didn't play many as two players. Uh, 
No, run away. Yeah, I think I've played more two players with Mortal Kombat than I did anything else. It's occasional Street Fighter 2. Uh, back in the day, Killer Instinct, played a lot of two player on that. But it took me a long time until I actually got myself a version. I do have it now. That's one of my favourites in terms of beat em up. But yeah, Mortal Kombat, I think, is certainly my favourite. It's got to be. Um, love the basic uppercuts. It, yeah, cannot go wrong with that. Right. Boom! He had a lot on his mind. Played Capcom vs. No, I haven't, but I've heard about it. Uh, I do have. Um, I've got Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh my goodness, me. I do have Marvel vs. Capcom on the PlayStation 2. Crikey! Have some of that. Woohoo! That was close. Can I get a melon? No. Don't tell everyone the tactics. Um. It's like an episode of Benny Hill. Do you know what? I was watching uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang on Boxing Day. I didn't realise Benny Hill was in that film. I said to Mum, is that Benny Hill? She went, yes it is. I'm blind, I didn't realise. How do you know Benny Hill from the Benny Hill show? I didn't know he was actually in some films. Right, then box into a corner. Thank you very much. Uh, very kind. I just... Thank you very much for the donation, Carsten. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Splat! Exactly. It's, very, it's good, isn't it? The first version I played wasn't actually Dig Dug. It was actually, like I say, it was a cover disc on the Amiga. I can't remember what it was called. It wasn't called Dig Dug. But yeah, I had played the original Dig Dug before I played that. But that was a really good game. It wasn't very good at it, though. You used to play football, but the players ruined it for you. Yeah, I played loads of football. Yeah, 9 times out of 10, we got home from school, my friend Daniel would ring me up on the phone. Do you want to play some football? Yes, I do. It took us about 10, 15 minutes to get ready, and there we go. I quite enjoyed, um, it was normally only about three of us, maybe four, but I, I enjoyed... I quite enjoyed just the small numbers and the big, big games, really. Very kind of you, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, give it a whirl, buddy. Give it a whirl. You ain't going anywhere, pal. Have some of that. Yeah, I used to play loads of football. We used to follow all the. Well, I didn't follow all the teams, but I knew all the teams, all the players, all the mascots, all the grounds, all that. But now I just completely went off it. One day I loved it, and all of a sudden I was like, no. Nope. Not interested anymore, but I still love playing football games a lot. Sensible, so, sensible soccer, sensible world of soccer, absolutely fantastic. You might have seen my top ten football games, football games video I did. In fact, I think you did comment on it. Really enjoyed doing that. I don't actually know how many levels there are in a game like this. A lot of games, a lot of games get through, okay. Players are, they are, they are ridiculously overpriced. Karsten Paul videos donated five euros through Super Chat. <laughs> Great stream. Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate that. You're a superstar. You always have been, you always will be. You're a diamond, an absolute diamond. Footy diet, yeah, money, it's, it's all about the money. All about the bonger, isn't it? But yeah, they earn in a week, why earn in a, in a year? It's probably more than that, it's best. Uh, just by kicking a, a ball around a pitch. But the, I, think, what, uh, I think one of the reasons, the main reason why I went off it so much was I wasn't a fan of the play acting, you know, pretending to be hurt and the diving and all that sort of stuff. That annoyed me more than anything else. It's just ridiculous, you know, the amount of money you earn, you earn, sure you can stop acting like a... Well, you should be a swimmer, not a footballer. Just trying to get someone sent off. Um, and also, the v is it VR? Is that what they do now in football? I mean, is, is that 
spoiling the game? Is it as good as, as it used to be back in the day? Or is it spoiling the game for me? Or for you? Look at that. They're doing cricket, don't they? Yes. Wow, that's a lot of levels. I don't think we'll be doing that today, Mother Grey. We'll, we'll stop at 20. I can't believe that. That's insane. I mean, yes, this is one of those games, but yes, people do speed run. I know Charlie Farr's a big fan of the original game, yes. Yeah, I'm not that good. That's a lot of levels. Has anyone ever finished a game that has absolutely unbelievable amount of levels? I mean, yes, I finished, of course, Lemmings with 120 levels. I finished Bill's Tomato Game with 100 levels. Uh, but has anyone finished a game that has like sort of 200, 300, 400 levels? Anything like that? Well, a few, aren't there? I mean, Tetris, that's one of those games you can get really far in that. Oh, would be a good one to ask. Right, last one, move on. Right, I might go for a little bit of, yeah, Rocking Co. Like I say, we'll wind down a little bit. 300! Crazy. Got it, I just haven't played very much. Well, how long would that take? Eight hours? How far have you got? I mean, I haven't got very far in that at all. That was also had a remaster, if I remember right there. I think it's on Steam, actually. Now I'm thinking about it. Lemmings, yes, of course, 120. Oh, no more Lemmings, I'm assuming that's 100. Xmas Lemmings, I'm guessing 60, I don't know. Micro Soccer, I've heard a lot about that, never played it though. Populous, 500, I don't think I've ever played it. There you go. 230, what's that, pineapple? You have finished it, that's amazing. The only cinema Cinemaware game I finished is the Three Studios. Wayne Elman Holmes interest with soccer is pretty good. Uh, I do have on the Amiga. How easy was that? Super League Manager was based on that game actually. But yes, of course, I'm not very good at management games. I think the last one I played and bought technically the same thing, wasn't it? was LMA Manager on the PlayStation 1. I, I tried, I tried, I wanted to like it, I wanted to get better at it, but I just, I couldn't do it. I traded it in for something else, I gave up. I can't win, I couldn't win a game. Might get an occasional draw. I didn't have the skills to pay those bills. <laughs> right. Okay, Rocky and Co. This is a game I've been meaning to play for so long. I've only had one go prior to today. But we'll play it today, we'll give it a whirl. But yes, I'm not gonna get far, but we'll see what we do. We've got the cart version and the disc version. I haven't even looked at the manual yet, but it's amazing. It's a great box, it's it's a superb game. You follow it on, on Facebook. Oh, uh, we'll that one, I think. But we'll try it today. CVs on CG4, really? You earn thousands a week? I do not, no. There's not a ending to it. Oh, it just rolls over and over, does it? Okay. Uh, lots of saving, gotcha. Yeah, I need to play Micro Pros Soccer. I think it was only got the grade at first, mentioned it to me uh, about that one. Yeah. Angry Tower sort of kind of get in there, yeah, I suppose. There are any good games on CD4? I only played International Soccer for the Flimbo's Quest cart, and it was pretty. <laughs> okay, not bad. I played. Um... Paul Gascoigne soccer, many probably wouldn't like it, it's okay, it's not the greatest, it's not the best, it's not the worst, it's okay. Uh, that's not bad. I've not played many football games on the CD4, on the Amiga, different story. Of course, Sensible Soccer, Sensible World of Soccer. Um, Wembley International Soccer, I, I don't know if I can, is it there? Well it is there, so I'm never going to see it. My Amiga boxes are not in alphabetical order yet. I am working on it. I've got that one, that was on the C32, £4.99 back in the day, that's insane. But yeah, I really was addicted to that game. That's a fantastic game. But yes, Sensible Soccer, is a World of Soccer. I've always called it Sensible Soccer, being the first one I played. I've always called it that. It is the ultimate for me. Right, I'm going to increase the volume a little bit more. Um, right, next question. 
Right, so what was the first game you played which controlled more than one character? It doesn't have to be a CD4, it could be whatever system you want it to be. Right, I've increased the volume to maximum, let me know if it's too loud, I'll turn it back down. Overkill, have a lunch of lies, I don't know. Is that a defender sort of clone? Is that right? Um, Rocky Memphis, the great adventurer, has discovered the entrance to the last temple of the great King Ku. Uh, this time, Rocky will need help to solve the puzzles and find the fabled Golden Condor. Uh, a beautiful golden statue that once adorned the great king's throne with his two mates, Spud, <laughs> Spud and Jet. He has the team with the skills required to complete his mission. Close on his heels is his arch emesis, the great... Is it too loud? Am I really no... Uh, on his heels, in his arch emesis, the great French treasure hunter, Rosso Foulache. Can you reach the temple first? Well, not today. Not today. How far have you got the Ray? I know you've got a lot further than me. But you did say it was difficult. So many defender clones, wasn't there? Loads. Loads and loads. But yeah, I've been, I've been following this on, on Facebook. I always do follow Trevor's work. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I love seeing the behind the scenes and how he made it. and I love all that. Head over heels, do have that, wasn't very good at it though. Um, cool, just picked up a number of homes. Seven pounds, it's a bargain! I'll buy that for a dollar. Uh, worth a punt at that price, I think. Yeah, I don't have that. But yes, if you, if you like that, you probably would like a Super League Manager as well. So that work. It's basically, you know, it's based on the same game, except you're on a different situation. You're not on, you're not on the field, you're on the, on the bench. Shout at your team. Go on, put it in the back of the net. <laughs> Robert, um, Mr. Roy, you're still here, buddy. What games have you been playing recently? Jamie, you still haven't drunk your wine. You still haven't drunk your water. You still haven't finished your can of Coke. Let's substitute can of Coke for wine. Cheers, everybody. Happy New Year to you. Uh, I do like occasional... I don't, I don't drink much of it. But I do like a occasional glass of wine. I do like that. Have you finished it? Have you really? Cheers! Jamie, put that down. Don't mix your drinks. Put that down. We'll do this first. Only one for me. Would recommend practice mode until you learn the room. I've got to um I've got to room four so far. Right, so it's it's kinda like it's kinda like um Lost Vikings. But it's very much like um, Goonies. Now I haven't, personally, I haven't played Goonies on the CT4. But it's very much like that. Um, but yes, level 4 is the only level I've reached so far. Um, I don't know how many levels there are. Not sure. But basically, yes, you've got to try and get all three characters to the exit door. Now you've got to press the space bar. I think there's also another way you can do it by pressing down fire, I think. But you're going to try and get all of them there. But yes, you've got your Indiana Jones character, which of course has the whip. Uh, there's a space bar. And he's the only one I think that can attack. I think so. Um, will you get to the last one and complete it? I might have to ask you for a tip. Um, are you cl Pardon me. You're close, are you? I'm stuck on the last level. Cannot get past that. Oh, right, okay. It always amazed me to see indie devs working on the game systems that we grew up and keeping them alive. Alive and kicking. Yeah, I don't know how Trevor Stowery does it. He, he's a machine. I don't know how he just keeps throwing out his amazing games every single year. And not just one. He's got like 20, 30, 40 each year. And they're top quality like this. I can't keep up. It's cost me a fortune. Making these amazing games. Right. So, we've got a button at the middle, the bottom on the bottom, button on the bottom right. So we've got a pulley system on the top on the right and a pulley on the bottom left. So, we got to put one character on the button, we've got to get this guy to the bottom left. Um, but also, if any of your characters die, you all have to restart. So you've got to go down to the bottom, put this door into the open position by grabbing this lever. Leaving him there, and we'll switch to this character. 
who is faster. Um, hello, Mark. You're new. Good to see you, buddy. Um, for two or three, four, you can switch between the squad. No difference between them. Uh, but good to see you, buddy. Welcome to the stream. I know you were here earlier, but it, yeah, it's good to see you. Yeah, tell me more about yourself. What sort of games you're into? What sort of genres you're into? It's always nice to hear about new people. This is a really new game. It's not been out very long, a couple of months. And Trevor Stowey, who was one of the ones that made it, he, he, he had a big part in this game. He's on the chat. And you can get this as a physical version if you're interested, interested in that sort of thing. Yeah, I have played Platoon. I haven't seen Platoon for a very, very long time, though. So you put her, I assume it's a her, on the bottom right to allow Indiana Jones to get up to the top. But it looks so good. So he's just going to be hanging around there. So now we've got to get this guy, is this Spud? I can't remember now. To the other side. So where are you, where are you from? Welcome to the best retro gaming channel. That's f <laughs> Thank you, bud. <laughs> that means a lot to me. Thank you. Right, we'll get over to the other side. So we've got our casual pixel perfects. Right to there. Right, put them on the switch. There we go. Switch over to this character, who's just all speed. Boxy Moxie, Millie and Molly, and Run and Gun. That sounds like a game, doesn't it? Put them all together. Oh, no, 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 wait, we start. Alright, it can be like that. Alright, switch. Switch. Go again. Spud isn't a grumpy slow one. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Is he grumpy? Well, Spud is grumpy, isn't he? He is a little bit grumpy. Right, down we go. And he knows he's grumpy too. Right. He's in place. Uh Go. Um, Hero Quest. I don't think I've actually played it. Of course, I've got the box version, or board game version, should we say. I have that, it's my mum's loft. Along with Hero Quest and the other one, Battle Masters, got that as well. A lot of my board games went astray. Do you know a lot about it though? A lot of them went to the charity shops. Yes, Hero Quest, the board game, and Space Crusade, and the other one, are still hanging for dear life. Uh, right, top again. Top. Yes, the board game. Uh, sorry, yes, the board game is in my mum's loft. Also, the Amiga game was very good. Got a box version of that. Quite a slow-paced game for a stream, I think. Um... Now I press it up. Right, so we'll get him to the top and leave him there, Jamie. Whoa! Oh, goodness me. Falling from a height doesn't kill you. Good! I'm pleased with that. Right. Yeah, surely you've heard of Space Crusade, the board game. Uh, Jamie, it's the wrong keyboard you put up. It's not gonna work. Yes! Yes! There's, there's a board game, yes. Yeah, I think Hero Quest, Hero Quest, Hero Quest came out first. Yeah, if we're into like Warhammer or um, Games Workshop, that'd be right, Bill Street. Alright, spacebar. Alright, get a bit closer, Jamie. Jump a lot further. Two out of two. Luckily, no time limit. Can you imagine? Uh, yeah, all of you got to get there. Yes, bingo. Quite nerve wracking from time to time. Yeah, I understand that. Uh, I'm hoping to play. He plays Black Hawk. Uh, my first one was Goonies on CG4. You hated it, do you really? Hopefully you didn't hate the film though. The film was great. 
there was rumours for a sequel. I'm, I'm sort of hoping there's not going to be a sequel. Because the, the, the first one was brilliant. But yeah, I'm trying to think what mine could be. Um, I mean, I, of course, uh, Lost Vikings was right up there. I don't even sort of include Lemmings. Um, but I think mine could possibly be Day of the Tentacle, actually. Fave Atlantis. Might be something like that on the PC. Right, so we've got these buttons. So we need two of them to activate the buttons. Um, yeah, Boxy Moxie, I've heard of it. I don't think I've played it. Mini Molly, I've not played it, but Run and Gun, I have. Pardon me. Do you ever play the Nintendo? I don't have a Nintendo. Well, if you're talking about a Nintendo 64, I used to have one. Don't have one anymore. I traded it a long time ago. Um, I've got a SNES or Super Nintendo, but no, I don't have an N64. Not anymore. To there. Switch to there. There. To there. Get out of the way. Right. Okay. Um, but yeah, do you have one? I mean, there was rumours there was going to be an N64 Mini. Same as the, um... Um... Dreamcast. Was it Dreamcast? It was going to be a Dreamcast Mini as well. Was it... I think... It's, yeah, I think so. Or was it Sega Saturn? I can't remember now. It's definitely rumours anyway. Right, we're trying to do the same for the other side. Right, Jasper wants to go out. I'll be right back. Hold on a second. See, this is another advantage with a new setup. So now, when he's wanting to go out, I can see that he wants to go out, and I can hear he wants to go out. Rather than being in the other room, I can't hear him. I can't see him. Yeah, it's actually going to be. F I think it's going to be a fossil, right? A great puzzle. I finished that in 2023. 100 levels. That's a good question, actually. What games? Because we've got a few I finished for the very first time last year. What games did you finish for the first time last year? It's quite a few old school ones for me. Some surprises. Right, so, put him on button number one, put her on button number two, switch him, put him over there, to there, right. Uh, now, we switch over to Indiana Jones, use the whip, and just do the same with the other direction. Um, so, we do... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles NES was impossible though. Unmerciful game. I only played it on the arcade and the Amiga. I don't know if I had played the NES version. I might have done. Sure. So, Wrecking Crew, do you have any cats in your house? Okay, so he's now stuck in between two lava showers. Right. To there. To there. To there. To there. There you go. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Um, here, location. You played Barbarian, Elf, Dwarf, and Wizard. These four got the worst port, though. Spectrum version was much better. Spiders and <laughs> fairly new too. I know nothing about Amiga, but love learning and get involved in Jamie's channel. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, I, the, well, I think there was a couple of them actually. No, I've definitely, no, I've definitely not played that version though. Um, he requests, I mean, it's a very iconic tune on Amiga, but I don't, I don't think I've actually ever played it. Right, so get him up there. Okay. Finish emulator on Amiga for the first time, but I may have cheated. Oh no, oh no, we don't cheat around here. Hello, hello 20th Century Gaming, good to see you buddy, how you doing? Hello Mark, good to see you. Welcome in. How you doing? Oh, poo! I paying attention. Right, I'll do that again. Ah, oh. hold on a second. 
I'm sure you've played this. I'm very surprised if you haven't. Um, yes, El Eliminator. That was uh, Houston Consultant, wasn't it? That yeah, was not a bad vote. Not a bad port on Amiga. Right, so. Let's do that again, but better. Yeah, there's a lot of gobbledygook on this one. Um, Happy New Year, Jamie. I hope you're well. First game I played with more than two characters was the time it's Suzy Shuffle Circus. Don't know that one. I have I have not played many games on it. There's a few people I knew back in the day that had one. Who? Hang on a minute. No. 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 Messed that right up. Um, yes, a few of my friends did. I think the first game I played on the 2600 was... Jungle Run or something, was it? Is it Jungle Run? Something like that. Right, go again. Uh, I had three cats when I lived at home. Was one of my actual cats, but he's... 22! Oh, that's a good age for a cat. Sorry to hear that, though. We have three dogs, though. What's the lazy like on the chat today? Is it any good? Yeah, Jasper, I think Jasper's 10, I think. Might be 11. Yeah, Health-wise, he's very good. Alright, so. Yeah, Emulator was... Yeah, I've not played it for a while. To there. To there. To there. I'm going to move on this one. Definitely not. To there. Back again. Yeah. No! Last guy. 12 years old. He died in 22. Hello to Monkey! Free head Monkey. Hello, buddy. Alright, right. how many lives have we got? This is our last life, Jamie. Last chance. How you doing, Mike? Good to see you. Happy New Year to you. You have a good Christmas. The door is already open. What on this? Yeah, I might have made a bit of a boogle on this one. Um, right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I just need to concentrate on this one. So, does a monkey make any New Year's resolutions? It's very good. Like I say, I've not played it much. But yes, it's one of those games you've got to try and really pay attention, really. Switch off, which of course I did. Get punished. No! Like that. Very easy to make a mistake there. There. Down to there. No, do it again. So Trevor, what was your your biggest achievement last year? What what game was you the most happiest with? I mean, this was, of course, it was amazing. It is amazing. A lot of work went into this. What was your your best game of last year that you made? You don't make it. I I don't make it. I've tried in the past. It was a long time ago, but I've definitely tried in the past. But yeah, it didn't get far. It wasn't anything major anyway. I don't know what I would make as a New Year's resolution now if I made any. Make more space, I guess. Like I always keep doing. Trying to do. Yes, you press space. You can do it another way. You press down on fire, I think. No, Jamie, Jamie, they messed up again. Messed up again. Messed up again. Hang on a minute. Jamie, you got to move him over. Yeah, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Yes. Yes, I see what. Yes, I see what I'm doing wrong now. I see. So you're not paying attention. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Thank you. No. Timing, Jamie. Timing is key here. There. No. There. No. Hold on a second. Yes, it's open. I'm going there now. I'm going there now. <laughs> I'm going there now. I see what you're saying. 
Yes, I didn't realise. I made a bit of a boo boo there. So there. Yeah, you should probably shout at your screen there. Up there. <laughs> you put in capitals. Right, done. So, now we've got to try and get up there. Jump to the exit door. Right, he's there. He's safe. He's not. How many levels does it have? Uh, if you need to make life choices, start today. Don't wait for a spell. Yes, it's, it's a good point. It's a fair point. It's a fair point. Twelve. This is only stage two. It was me. Well, I'm sure you'll do it, Mr. War. I have every faith in you. Right, I haven't got past this one yet. Um, oh, I thought it was stage four. No, it's stage three. So you've got to use the buttons at the bottom to try and get the right platform height because there's two spe uh, spears that hit you from both sides. Or just jump into the ceiling, Jamie. There you go. Dead. Game over. Yeah, I totally understand that. Thank you so much for the donation, Wrecking Crew. It's really kind. What's your first name, by the way, Wrecking Crew? What's your first name? Well, there we go. It's fantastic, though. It's good. Right, what do you want to see next? Um, madness, uh, Impossible Mission, I.O., Tony, or Magic, or Steel Ranger. Craig, I'll remember that. I thought it was ten stages, I'm only at eight. I have, I have kind of given up on the phrase, but madness, okay. That's a really good game. That is a really good game. Thank you so much. That's really kind of you. Thank you, Craig. The Reckon Crew donated five pounds through Super Chat. Get Jasper some New Year's treats. Really or yourself sign of the horns light skin tone. That was really delayed, wasn't it? I don't know why it's so delayed. Uh, but yeah, Madness. Yeah, you made a request as background music for my vlogs. And I tried it the other day. Really, really liked it. Music's done by Chris Helsbeck. Hmm. I will do. Yeah, definitely we'll go and play that a bit more. Nickname is Guilers, gotcha. No, if if one character dies, they all fail, basically, yes. I mean, in Lost Vikings, yes, if one Viking dies, you can still play on. But you won't finish the level. Uh, I've got quite a lot of drinks to go here. I've got a cup of tea, which is still in there, but it's stone cold. Yes, this is actually wine. It's quite rare that I drink wine, but yes, I haven't actually got a glass of wine. I've also got a glass of water, no, it's not vodka. And I've also got a can of coke. So yeah, so it's staggering, I don't know why, but yes, I don't drink much alcohol at all, of course. But I don't mind a glass of wine. But yes, my mum did buy me a, a bottle of wine for Christmas as well, so I thought, why not? Why not indeed? Right, cheats, no chance. We don't use cheats here. Right, madness. Yeah, requested by Lord of Infinity. Uh, copyright 1986 by Rick Parks. You might get copyrighted this, if I do, I don't mind. Red track. 13 screens. Gotcha. Um, yeah, well, drinking tea, well, cold tea. Is that what you're drinking, is it? Does Rolling Co have little passwords? I don't think so. I'm not sure. Yes, exactly. Yes. I mean, inside this box, We've got so many nice things here. I mean, well, we've got a little poster there. It's falling on the floor. Uh, we've got a badge, uh, a keyring. Oh, I mean, keyring there as well. Of course, there's the cart, the carton box, uh, stickers, stickers there, postcards. So much nice stuff in here. Got a soundtrack as well. Always like to get those. Also, manual, you need that. And also, tips and clues. I might also need that. It's like the, uh, the diary from uh, Indiana Jones and Last Crusade. But yeah, it's amazing. It really is good. Hello, Phil. Good to see you, Phil. How are you doing? Way too loud. Gotcha. Is that better? Mm. 
No, I very rarely drink. Very rarely. Is that better? Testing one, two, three. <laughs> Trevor Sale, you're trying to kill me. Perfect now. Okay. Can't hear you. Right. Uh, not working. Do it again. Uh, Robert Gray, you played this one before? Oh, some more fell on the floor. More stickers. Uh, looks like Impossible Mission. Yes, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Did any other C4 games have the game being played on the total screen like this one? A few did, yes. I mean, Manic Miner did earlier, even though it was a bit glitchy. Yeah. Um... Impossible Mission did, that went straight to the game. In fact, there's no title screen. It's just going to track you straight into the game. Right, so, you can change the levels. Well, I was going to say, presume you get there. No. I was 30 levels. Right, this unfortunately has a time limit. Is it shots? So what you've got to try and do, I'm assuming these are sticks of dynamite. You've got to light the sticks of dynamite, then you've got to try and reach the exit door. But unfortunately, there is actually a time limit, which is a power bar on this one. Now you can't shoot, but you can jump. That's all you can do. But yeah, the power bar is draining all the time. Now you do have three lives at the start. Whether you know more, I'm not sure. You also grab the ropes. That jump is fire, Jamie. Right. Yeah, really cool game. I like it. Any chance you would? I would love to do a season. Uh, yes, a season 32 stream. I would. Yes, definitely. A little bit of Zen on two. Why not? We killed by a caterpillar. There you go. Not a lot of it. Power remaining though. Just like the arcades. Um, right. Screen two. Yeah, it's one of those games you can't really sort of stand around because the time will be over the flash. So I'm trying to avoid the witch. Yeah. Yeah, I'm assuming you can't kill anything in this game. Did you have AC32 at all, Mr. Ox? Again, had a very brief go the other day. Yeah, time it is quite tight. Time it's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's Chris Hellsbeck. You haven't played this one. All right, where are we now? So we go. Right, okay. Some of my height won't kill you. I mean, it will. Yes, had a CD32 with PowerVision SX1 and an MPEG cart. Yeah, I got my CD32 1994, I think it was. It was the Voyager pack, which my dad got me. Is it the Voyager pack? It was. Still a memory video quite some time ago. Yeah, I absolutely loved it. Uh, there, was, there was so many packs, wasn't there? Of course, that's when I played Chaos Engine for the first time, Michael Cosm for the first time, Oscar for the first time, and Winkabiner for the first time. But yeah, there was only 160 games released for the C32. So, I don't know how many I've got, probably about 70. Right. Uh, didn't actually mean to do that. Yeah, give it a try, Robert Gray, it's good. Dozing off, no worries too, boy, lady. no worries, get some sleep. Have a good weekend, SQ1. Appreciate you being here. Yeah, it can go quite quickly. But yeah, it has, it does look, 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 look like a uh, boss mission, doesn't it? In fact, you need to play that one soon. I've only finished the PSP version, I've only f and the um, PS2 version. Basically, it's a remake. Not, not, not played the original. Yeah, have a good one, um, SQ ROM. Looks darn good, never seen it before. Yeah, it's good. Right, three lives, screen five. Pac 
Batman is a baddie in this one. Go for 986. Uh, now where? Uh, am I doing this in the wrong order? I'm in the wrong order. I'm gonna hit him head with a hammer. It's hammer time. That was risking it for a biscuit, but there we go. Never mind, never mind. I don't think you carry on my left off. No, we we'll do it all again. No problem. Yeah, it's always nice when people are seeing games for the first time. Lotus Spree Turbo Masters of Magic. I don't know that one. But yes, Lotus, of course. I've always preferred Lotus 2 the most. The books versions of 1 and uh, sorry, 2 and 3, not 1. But yeah, Lotus was also on the Mega Drive as well. Yeah, I'm trying to time was ticking away. Not always biscuit for biscuits. Don't always get biscuits when you want them. Yes. Right, you can't do it like that, Jamie. You can't do it like that. Um, that's not good, isn't it? It's good. I recommend it. Right, use the ladder, Jamie. Use the ladder. What's your plans this weekend? What a grey! What are you up to? Quick! Yeah, it's a very short jump, isn't it? But even Manic Maya jumps further than beat this guy. Move it all the time. Right, use another Jane, it's safer. Hammer down. Yeah. Um, looks cool. What's your plans this weekend, Gumbio? What are you up to? Woohoo! Don't do that. Right, screen six. If you can, in the option screen, just resume play from here. What are you going to do just that? First, put initial in. Good number. <laughs> I can't spell my name, Jamie. I bet he's worn out after Christmas, but do you want it, Gray? Happy with their purchases, all the gifts. Right, we'll, go, we'll carry on from there. Level six. Right, wanted a Pac-Man $100. Not much, was mucking about with the Spectrum next MLA. Yeah, I saw that, I couldn't respond though. Earlier I played a few games tomorrow, I was gonna work out how to set up that Oculus Quest I got and see how it all works. Go for it. Yeah, maybe in the future I might get something like that. Not sure when though. No, not again. Little semblance to. Hello! Hello, buddy. Good to see you. Hello. Josh, good to see you. Thank you very much for the donation. Hope, happy New Year to you and your family. How are you doing? It's very kind of you. Thank you. Ooh, phone's going crazy. Hope you and the family are well. Toy Bazaar! Not played it, but I know what game you're referring to. Yeah, I know what. I, yeah, I've seen it on eBay a few times, the case, but yeah, I've never actually played the game. Yeah, really nice. It's superb. It's a super dude. Ah! I'm running by a car. How was your Christmas, buddy? Good to see you. Time. This is madness, I tell you. Madness. Thank you.
you very much. And thank you, Andrew Sublime, for the link. Appreciate that. Gigabyte Technology donated $20 through Super Chat. C64 Stream. W-O-O-T. Of course, Josh is a big 64 fan. I don't think you didn't play Amiga back in the day, did you? Of course, he's got the Mini. Uh, how do we do this? Oh, I see. We've got to try and... Right. Right, he can't jump from rope to rope either, I don't think. Right, okay. So you've got to have the platform disappear for underneath your feet, I think. Right, was that number s seven, wasn't it? Until 2022. Have you played many games since your unboxing video? Can't get enough of it. However, I've not played ma much Mega. I'm so focused on that project. I've got all my spare time. Have you got a favourite game of all time, um, Josh? Of course, you know what mine is. Right. To the top. A lot of trial and error in this game. Play an endless sky a lot, developing a plugin for it as well. Yeah, I don't know that game. Is that a modern game? Yeah, when it comes to modern games, I'm extremely behind. Right, okay. Ha! <laughs> not! Most definitely not! Most definitely not. But I like I do like the game though. I just don't like that character. What were they thinking? Right, that's the way to do it, I think. Um right, time, 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 time. No, dead, 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 dead. Yeah, you hesitated at the end, though, Jane. That's what we did. You hesitated. Don't hesitate the game like this. Right, up. Jump, 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 jump. The problem with this is this thing, you can't actually go any... F oh, I don't think you can. It's called go with the flow. I love Rise of the Robots, absolutely. I'm probably the only one that does. I guarantee I'm probably the only one that does. You know, Mr. David Jensen's a big fan of it. He loves it, really. He does. <laughs> there you go! Just talking about you. You played it! You played the, there's, uh, the SNES version, wasn't it, you played? You loved it, really. That's the way to do it, that's better. That's better. Um, End the Sky is about 2015. Cross platform. I haven't played much retro recently. I occasionally played No Man's Sky as well. That's on PS4? 5? That one I have heard of. I've never played it. Oh, what is that? I wasn't paying attention. Um, Gosh. Can you crouch? You can't crouch. You can't crouch. Swing eight. There you go. Right, quarter to eleven. Right, we are gonna play. What should we play? We'll have one more go. Let's do one more go at that. Was it eight, wasn't it? One more go. Frantic Flower, the Astro Bill. And the C2. What's going on? Go again. Let's go. PS4, 5, Switch, and Steam.
I've been tempted to get a switch, actually. I have been tempted to. Right, where's this rocket? There's a the rocket. Ah! No, I hate to avoid that. Right, okay, time is here. Key, once again. Um... Oh, I see. The rocket at the top. Right, we do this bit first. No. Right, the rock. No! Um. So there. Ah, what? So you've got to try and guide it, have you? It homes in on you, like that, that thing in Nebulous. Gotcha. So basically, arrive on the level you are right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. That does make sense. How about you? Time. Time, time, time. I haven't got any time. Yeah, I just, just realised. Yeah. Yeah, there's an enemy in Nebulous. It's exactly the same thing. It's evil. It's the worst enemy in the game. It does feature Nebulous 2 as well, but not as bad. Yes, got it. Saves a lot of time. Wait there. Yes. No. Yes. No, Jamie. No, 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 no. No, that's time wasting. Time wasting. So there. Goodness me. All I need is literally 10 more seconds. Right, got it. I'm going to do it. I am going to do this today. Right, screen 8. I can do this. Right, I can do this. I am going to do this. No, I'm not going to do this. How do you quit? Oh, poo. Hold on a second. Right, do that again. I can do it. <laughs> right. So, Lord and Fancy, what games have you been playing? Of course, you love your adventure games, don't you? Right, we've got more questions. Uh, questions, questions, questions. I've said that one, said that one, said that one, said that one, said that one. No. Take it easy, Mr. Raw. You've done very, very well, buddy. I'll message you over the weekend. Have a good one. No worry, buddy. No worries at all. Thanks for being here. All right, one more go at number number eight. Program by Arthur. I'm going to put this guy on there. Right. Right there. Yes. Keep running, run that first gump. Yeah, have a good weekend, Mr. Raw. Changes to that really does change things. Evil Batman. Oh, the time is tight. It is tight. Should be okay though. There you go. Much, much better. No, I've missed one! Ah! Oh! No. Right. <laughs> he is an awesome dude. He is an awesome dude. You're all awesome dudes. I'll play, I've still not played any of them. I'm not, a f not a huge fan of RPGs. But you finished the first one, haven't you? Yeah. 
can get into it now. Okay, mind you, messed up again. Right in the forehead. With a neck. Right. Never mind, we'll move on anyway. Um Tony, we're going to be a possible mission, shall we? Why not? Not playing for actuated. Now, also, this being on the carousel, it should work with the zip stick. Uh, should be here. Didn't play the second one very much. Right. It is tough. Right, hopefully this will work. Right, which brings us to the next question. Uh, what was the first game you played which had speech? Does that have to be Amiga or C4? Could it be worth decision you want? This was the first game. No. This was the first game I played which had speech. When I heard that for the first time, I couldn't believe it was actually speaking to me. That was indeed a wow factor. Uh, right. This should work. It should work. There you go. Take it easy, Max. Have a good weekend, Max. Thanks for company and appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Right, zip stick baby, it's working. Yeah, I can't remember what age I was when I first played this. I was, I don't know, about four? Five? It actually spoke. Right, so basically what you got to try and do, and of course this game inspired other games as well. Like Solus, for example. You've got to try and find all of the passwords by searching all the items in each room. And that's pretty much different every time you play it. I mean, there's different sort of... I think it's the restore key that will basically restart. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the same level. It could be a different other plan completely. Hello, Brex. Hello, Wes. How you doing? Welcome. Happy New Year to you. How are you doing? Right, he's going to keep doing that because yes. Okay. Yes, of course. Of course, I played that on the Halloween stream. I only finished it a couple of times. How was your Christmas, Wes? Exactly. Yes, I'm looking, looking forward to it. Did you ever finish this one, uh, Trevor? After all that, nothing there. Is he gonna do it? <coughs> yes, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it to sleep. Literally. So we use computer, we've already got the password to do it. Uh, temporary disabled robots in this room. And what you find out, you go all through that to find out there's nothing there. Hello to me, good live. Hello, John. Good to see you, John. How you doing? Happy New Year. I hope you had a good Christmas. Pretty easy to finish. My lord. I wouldn't say it's easy. But, you've done well there. Super classic this one. Looking forward to, yeah, Mission Impossible 3. What was your opinions on um, Mission Impossible 2, Mr. Robert Gray? Alright, not yet. Of course, this is times. But yeah, you don't actually lose lives in this game. Every time you die, you lose time. But I think the PSP version, the PlayStation 2 version, which I have finished, I think it's actually visible on the screen. Whereas here, you can't see it. It's there, but not all for all to see. You finished Friday 1 and took a while to do so. Was 2 better than 1 or 1 better than 2? Ghostbusters for you, maybe the darts game, 180. Yes, yes, good game that one, I've got that. Donated by Rusty James. Of course, it was on Amiga as well, but it was actually called World Darts on Amiga. In fact, I was meaning to watch some darts this year, never got round to it. It was quiet, it was quiet, but it was, it was a, a break I needed. But good to see you, John. How are you doing? What time is it where you are? Of course, John is in Canada. Alright, I'm going to increase the volume a bit more on this one. Right, I've got giant down to the bottom. There. 6 p.m. 
my goodness me, probably having dinner. Uh, this was fun, hope you had a good break. Yes, it was a much needed break, of course, I worked on my uh, streaming setup move, which is not 100% finished. But still trying to adapt to the change. But it was a change that was probably surprising to hear that I was doing it when I uploaded the video, but it was certainly a change that was needed. Yeah, let's wait for one more thing to arrive and we're good to go. Yeah, much more spacious. A bit cramped in the other room. Right, uh, can we temporarily disable that robot? Probably not. That one's having a bit of a nervous breakdown. Ah, no. And of course, you can also reset the lifts if you have the password to do so. I don't know if we have. I'll try. No. We'll come back to that when we've got more upgrades. Exactly, exactly. Um, red PM, I read AM for some reason. Yes, it's current. Yes, PM. It's PM here, but only for one more hour. Go. Viewers here, yes. First game of speech, probably this one. Never finished this game. Yeah, also, I think the one after this was Beachhead 2. I mean, that had loads of speech as well. Great animations, also. Uh, but yeah, that will deduct time, not energy or lives. Course, the bigger the piece of furniture, the longer it's going to take to search. Search the bookcase. Six hours in time difference between us and East Coast and France as well. Yeah, you're currently, yes, you're pretty much bang on midnight now, aren't you? Right, we'll go around and go back in. You found it too stressful. I've not played it. I, um, I think the first, uh, second game was on the Mega, wasn't it? I've never played it on the Mega. Should we should play when we left off. <laughs> He's looking for love, yeah. That's risky. It's like me trying to search for space. What's your plans this weekend, Nipshin? What sort of tempers you getting over there this time of year? Well, you're an hour ahead of me. Uh, yeah. We'll come back to that one, I think. No, at the top. Oh, it's a gamble. No, it won't take a gamble. So what did you get for Christmas, John? Was you a good boy? <laughs> did Santa visit you? No. Right, I tell you what, we'll go back, go down a few more, see if there's another passageway. More than likely. Right, we'll go over here. Of course, once you've got the passwords, that, that is actual... Yes, that's where we go at the end. That's basically the exit point. Which, on later versions, updates, remakes, it does actually appear as an icon on the map. Right, that's going to be difficult to do. There wasn't so many drawers in that thing. Uh, might as well just disable. If I can, if I've got one. No, I ain't got one. Right, at least we know where it is. Plans for weekend, finishing a tune I've been working on for weeks. What tune is that? Here in Germany as well, Midnight. Yeah. 
more for hardcore gamers. Well, it's well. <laughs> I've not finished it. Only the PSP version and the PS2 version I finished. I would show you, but they only have a room. Of course, games have moved around. PlayStation 2 games are now in the other room. Again, it's going to take time. Yeah, I'm intrigued what this tune is. Okay, go that way, that's fine. We'll search the book for love. Nothing here. After all that, nothing there. That happens so many times. Thank you. Appreciate that. Right what about you, Andrew Sublime? What's your plans? It's a long way and a short way. Well, we're losing too much time on this one. We'll go back. Uh, tomorrow I'm doing some di <laughs> DIY. Something I've been doing a lot of recently. And they're going to try my ne nephew's birthday. Is that the nephew I should know? Uh, I forget his name. Yeah, if he's been, is that the one that's been on stream a few times? Quite some time ago, like... The roof is too low. Okay, nothing there. So it's a speaker. Killian, yes, that's the one. That's the name. Baffy my brain. I couldn't think of the name. Right, it's gonna be death, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing there. Never mind. Yes. <laughs> Do you know what? Back in the day, I thought it was just that. I kept thinking to myself and said to my brother as well, "Why is he called Impossible Mission?" Because it's impossible. No, it's definitely possible. It's definitely possible. Yeah, I played loads back in the day, but I've never finished the C4 version. Yeah, it's been ages since I last played it. We had a PSP version and PlayStation 2 version. I think it finished quite quickly. Considering it was actually on control pads as well. Where are all these icons? I haven't got any. Of course, when they're asleep, of course, you cannot be a, you can't be killed by them. Stay a while. The tune to this is a remix of a song from Mia Fu, Taiwanese female singer. Not something clip sound related, more like a trance wave stuff. Well, it sounds interesting. Right, uh He's gonna keep following, isn't he? <laughs> I don't know actually. No game is impossible. Every game is possible. Same as impossible. I used to say that back in the day as well. You say, well, it's it's called impossible because A it's it's impossible and two you play as a mole. Of course. I am very close to finishing that one now. I have got to the final stage on three separate occasions, but I haven't got past the final stage, which is because it was the beginning of the triangle. Um, but yeah, back in the day, I got nowhere. I couldn't get past one single stage. 
Right, okay. We have a door. Right, we'll do one more. Oh, just kill yourself, Jay. You'll be literally. Oh. game was originally mission and yeah I'm do you know I'm always getting that wrong all the time it's an easy mistake to make isn't it but they had to change it because of the TV show not sure how much this relates to the show probably not a lot all the film it's definitely not Tom Cruise. Uh, that's not right, is it? We ain't gonna get out of it like that. No, I've got it every way. It is fun. It's a good game. Yes. I, mean, I, don't, I, I don't know how many levels there are, but yes, it's a different. Well, you press the restore button. It basically will take you back to the start, but it might not be a completely not a different setup. Rooms different places, robots doing different things. Different patterns, should we say. And there's also one room which you can... It's basically a memory game. And I think it gets you... Tokens or something? It doesn't give you maps. Or passwords. I don't know where that is, I haven't seen it yet. Right, should be able to get back. Yes, there is a fireplace. You can search the fireplace. The only thing you can't search, we can use it, are these computers or terminals. Any passwords you picked up, which we just have, you've got the one that resets the platforms on the lifts and one that disables all robots in the room. When that's the case, you just walk straight past them and it won't affect you. Alright, so, <laughs> yeah, so we're now going to search the toilets. In Manic Mine, I was killed by a toilet, so now we're going to be searching one. As you do! And a bathtub. And a cabinet. A grandson called Cillian, spelled with a C, not a K. That's interesting. Right. Nothing there. Nothing in the bathtub. I got such a bin as well. Right, we'll do, we'll do it like this. Just to speed up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Someone's got to do it, and they. Gotta be quick, though. Gotta be quick. Right, we found something in the bin. We found something in the cabinet. That's good. In the bog. I don't know. We're killed there. Couldn't search the bog. We are searching for passwords. And then at the end, once you've got all of them, you've got to put them all together. Like a jigsaw piece. There we go. We've got three that time. We've all got to be the right colour. We've got to fit together perfectly. And they use that at the end. And that's when you make your escape. Marbles. Lost his marbles. Yeah. Yeah, he's lost his marbles. We are searching for the marbles. Right, so over there. So we that thing in the vending machine. We found one in the vending machine. Yeah, sometimes you get absolutely nothing, and sometimes you get quite lucky. But yeah, we're not really still getting a lot of tokens. This game did not have the token that makes you safe from the robots. That makes it a bit difficult. Yeah, they could be anywhere. It could be a password in the bog, a password in the fireplace, fire, or in the filing cabinet. It could be anywhere. Even a vending machine. Nothing there. But yeah, there's a game also on the CT4. In fact, there's two of them now, and uh, it is called, yeah, Soulless. No one by 
Cytronic software, and yeah, very much inspired by this. Pretty much doing the same thing. Time is it? Right, we'll move on to the next game in a minute. But yes, in this game, passwords can be anywhere. Absolutely anywhere. But yeah, somewhere there's actually a time limit. I don't know if there's actually a button you can actually press to get it. I'm not actually sure. Maybe. But yeah, every time you die, you lose time. Control room, phone, digital controls, lifting platforms, solving the puzzles. Yeah, your pocket computer. Pick up a puzzle piece, point it, uh, point to it with the glove. No, I'm talking about gloves. And press fire. Move it by using the joystick. Yeah. So basically, what you're trying, you can't do it in this screen. Only do it in the elevator screen. So this is your pocket computer. So you press uh, fire. So this is where. Oh, there you go. There's your time limit. Um. I can't remember what kills you. So yes, you've got to try and then use all these to try and fit them all together. All be right colour as well. And also you can change the colour, change the height. Yeah, something like that. That's the aim of the game, yes. And once you do it, yeah, you win, basically. But anyway, we are going to move on to the next game now. Um... See what Tony to play. Tony's another new game as well. Right, so I'll put that down. Right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the Be Right Back screen. I'll be right back. Uh, where is it? Be right back. Game, but being electrocuted continuously. Right. Uh. <laughs> where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Right. Uh, sorry about that. Right. Uh, a quick go at Tony, shall we? Tony, Tony. Uh, I don't know if it's a demo or full game release. It's not going to be there, Jamie. It's going to be... Where is it? So I've got to sort through this out. It's a bit of a mess. A bit of a shambles. Tony. Tony, there we go. An egg-shaped boss. Yes. Right. Tony. I think this only came out last year, I think. Yeah, I suppose it does need sort of in-game music, wouldn't it? We'll go and miss. This does. Basically, it's going to be played in a monochrome field. 1921. Yeah. So, uh, Tony Halleck, 24th January 20, 1921. A Polish traveller and explorer. Halleck was born in Turin, Poland during the Second World War. He joined the French resistance. He was awarded the French War Cross for his actions. After the war, he worked as a correspondent for the NBC. For 30 years, he was over by the documents of films. Why that space? So, Freehead Monkey, what games have you been playing? Are you still playing your online games? Like your driving games? Hello, Oxo Good, always good to see you. How you doing? Welcome. He joins us, I'm taking a sip of wine. I know it's rare. It's rare. Like, no cheats. No, 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 no. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Yes, okay, it's confirmed. It's a demo version. It's not a full game release yet. Uh, yes, these are all games I've added or bought. Yes. Not all three. <laughs> but yes, a lot of them do have as physical, but not all of them. Right, so what you're trying to do is you're trying to find, I'm assuming, some sort of relic or something. Now, you can also pick up potions. I think potions work as a hit. Hold a maximum of four. 
got a new phone. Oh, really? And a controller. So I've been playing mobile games recently. Yeah, maybe you had quite an old phone, didn't you? Oh, well, you, you, your dad get you that. Right, so we've got our energy down the bottom right. Yeah, I think the potions is little hits. I think so. Yes, monochrome, yeah. So basically, yes, it's like 1921. And I used to, we used to have a black and white TV. In the very, very early 80s and mid 80s, we had one. Very old school. Right, we're trying to find a certain point of keys. You know what phones you get? I think the phone that everyone had was a 3210. 3310. The indestructible phone. I would have had mine if it didn't get stolen at a gig. I went to a gig and I dropped it. That was either that. Shame, it's a good phone. Good, isn't it? Too loud? I'm going to jump on the spike shoot. There's so many new games coming out. Keep track of them, really. My first TV was a 13 inch black and white, used it with my Spectrum. I'm really. Probably not good for watching Snooker on, was it? Imagine that. Again, it's another game you can't attack, you can't kill any enemies, I don't think. Snake. Potion. A game of bats. Crouch there. Oh, I killed it. What the hell? Right, so we've maxed out our inventory. Four's matching the four. Um, are modern sequel games better than old? Well, I, well I, I love a lot of the old ones, of course. There are actually some splendid new ones coming out. Now, I'm not fully up to date. There's still a lot of ones I haven't played yet, or haven't seen yet. Um, right, there's another one there. So pick up that, you can't pick up the... Happy done potion. Sit for the win, it's actually. So what's your plans this weekend? What does your game? I don't think I've asked you yet. What are we up to? Oh, right. Another one? Yeah, this is a demo. Chappy? Uh, oh my lord, I'll have a look in a sec. Soul Cross. I'll have a look in a sec. Yeah, I hope he ain't going there in a hurry. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah. She up there. Will has got a map. No, not sure. Emperor Matt? Don't know. <laughs> 600. So I place up online video games with Led Saturday. Friend is going back to the Navy Post Xmas. Can't remember the last game I ever played online. Uh, a long time ago. I've not played the place in five ages, to be quite honest. Someone asked me on the previous stream what uh, new games I want to get. I don't, I don't really know. I have no idea. It's really behind. There's quite a lot of games and books early in the year I haven't finished yet. Like Grand Turismo, I've played Grand Turismo for ages. Right, can't jump onto there. Where's he 
Don't you just say, yeah, I'm the pay for one. But don't you've actually got all the license again because that's two more than get. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of licenses, especially in the earlier games. That's sort of ages, isn't it? At least now you've got like a first, second and third. Of course, you know, the better you do, the better the reward you get, the better the car. Not sure what brand ours was, but the spec it was used on the 13 inch, so... Must be Sanyo. Getting slight hints of, uh... You need again? Mine was my first TV. It was probably an 18 inch, maybe. Right, so. Right, so basically, I think the potions will stop you from using the hearts. Got to Balance starts to say new single games are better, but there's still a lot of great old ones. Or the Mega, old ones, Windows. Of course, not just me going to C4, but yeah, Amstrad going strong, Special going strong, in Sega, of course. So many other systems we've got to try out, somehow, I don't know how. Yes, yes, I very rarely see that now, because I'm, getting, I'm so much better at the game now, it's very rare I do actually see that screen. Drinking monkey? Is that a silly question? <laughs> I bet you are. Right. Uh, four keys, James. Plenty of keys. Next time you play, if you ask me to die, in the yes, I should be, shouldn't I? But back in the day, I died very early. More so on number two than number one. Of course, of course, of course. Yes. Carly? Is it Carly? <laughs> I reckon so. That's my final guess. I'm going to say it's Carly. Right. Um, I think we played them all now. Manic Miner, yes. Sign Ups, yes. Made us, yes. Russian Co, yes. Barnes and Bezos, Arms and I hope. Um, terrible. A quick go of IO, shall we? No, actually, we was going to do some... No, tell you what, we'll have a quick go of... We'll talk about earlier today. Play some Barsley Badger. Quick go. This is going to be really overpowering loud. That I know for sure. That's going to be really loud. Right, volume-wise, are we okay? Carlin, Silent, Vodka and Co. All at once? <laughs> right, back to this bad boy. Wavy Navy. I don't think I've got Wavy Navy. What sort of game is that? I'll write it down. Wavy Navy. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Unless it's on the uh, on the, the title screen. Wavy Navy. If I have. I'll have a look. I'll have a look. <laughs> yes, yeah, a different glasses, of course. Yeah. Alright, that's my one and only glass of wine. I dilute it immediately with what glass of water. Right, so of course we played Barnsley Badger earlier on today, which was very much inspired by this. But yes, I'm not far away from finishing Barnsley Badger, I don't think. But this is a game, I, I've played it a lot more. And I first played this on the Amstrad, but yeah, I can't get far in this one. I don't know how far you guys have got, but yeah, I've not played many of the Monty Roll games. Um, of course, the music's sensational, but yeah, it's difficult. I'm not 100% sure what you've actually got to do in this game, apart from collecting all the items. 
Um, and of course, in Barnsley Badger, eventually you can fire. I don't think you can this time. Not know. We don't know. Uh, that was called um, Tony. T O N Y. It's only a demo. Baz Pub, yes, Baz Pub. The Badger. Yeah, you should play that game. Anything with a Badger in it, it'd be up right up the street. <laughs> Just download Tony Demo, looking forward to trying out. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. How far you got in this one, Robert Gray? I can't get far in this one. I just, I get reasonably far. What kills me the most is the crushers, really. I don't know if there's actually a, a pattern to them. If there is one, I haven't figured it out. You need to take correct items. The f you need to take the correct items. The freedom kits. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, there's an item on the left-hand side that kills you. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Trouble is, what happened on the case? Where the bit that goes in between the, uh... Yeah, there's a pretty big hole right in the middle of that. Right in the middle of the description. Yeah, I can't really read, can't see much of it, really. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played it, but yeah, I can't get far. Of these coins, so you have to pick up. I don't know. It's a first aid kit. Gotcha. It's game that you life as well. Complete it, but not the correct items. You can't finish the game. Gotcha. Apparently, I've heard there's going to be a Monty Mole compilation on the Switch. Uh, so I've heard. I haven't played many of them anyway. It's a shame it's only on the Switch. Um, there. Yeah, the pattern to these crushers kills me so many times. Right, we'll start again. <laughs> we'll start again. I mean, let's take some doing, Robert Gray, to finish this one. Oh, shoot him up! Oh, right! Wavy Navy! Have you heard of that one, Robert Gray? Wavy Navy! Anika Rice! Anika Rice! That rings a bell! Well, you know what I'm going to say. And it's probably not the one you're going to agree with. I'll leave it as that. <laughs> 2, 3, 12, 13 and 16 are the correct items. Oh, on there, the Monty Freedom Kit. Ah, oh, do you know, I've never actually looked into that. Well, I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Alright, let's have a look at that. Let's take a picture of that. Oh, no worries, no problem, no problem at all. It is good, isn't it? Yeah. Right, okay. So some you have to ignore. So 2, 4, 12, 13, 16. So we've got that. 4. Whatever that is. A snake? 12. Alright, oh, I didn't realise there's so much to it. Book. Mask. And barrel. Alright, oh, okay. Oh my god. I was assuming to pick up everything. But yeah, I knew there was some that killed you though. Yeah, it's good. That and the Commando, my favourite uh, high school soundtracks. So you don't actually technically have to go everywhere, do you, really? And down here's a cupcake. I've always gone to get the cupcake. Your life somewhere around here. You need to select them with the up direction to move them to your freedom kit. 
Well, at the main menu. Oh, really? So you select it at the start, do you? Is that right? Well, didn't know that. I didn't know you could do that, Robert Gray. I just assume that's what you got to find. So you got four. Ah, Twelve. He is a mole. <laughs> He's a mole. Monty Mole. Thirteen. And sixteen. Wow, I didn't know that. Alright, so there is the Monty Freedom Kit. Yes, he's a mole. Same mole in a potty mole, even though back in the day I didn't know that. So I didn't know that either. We have the perfect kit. It is good, isn't it? Yeah. One of his best, I'd say. Yeah, my friend Adam had it on the, on the um, Amstad CPC. I'll tell you what, we're just going on like this. Let's keep going. Saying that was a different life, wasn't there? Yeah, I don't know if there's actually a pattern to these. I just get crushed all the time. <laughs> is it loud enough or does it need a bit of a tweak? It's sounding really loud in my headphones though. Gumdia, do you still play your Sega Saturn at all? Pair down there, but again, always try and pick up the pair. At least you don't need to. <laughs> yeah, it's um it's a lot of hover, isn't it? I'm sure it is. High scoring game though. Not yet anyway, but of course I'm not picking up as much as I was. It's a teleport. Right, okay. Yeah, I've heard a few remixes of this. Don't tell me to get copyrights from Rob Hubbard, I should be okay with this one. Mostly, uh, Barry Leach. I get the most copyrights from Barry Leach more than anything else. Occasional Hell's Beck, but that vlog I did right recently. No copyrights on that one? Yes, very much so. You miss old YouTube. Yeah, YouTube made a lot of changes. Whether it's good changes, I don't know. Wrong, wrong, wrong. What are you trying to do there? Now that actually kills you. First time I saw that, I got in the lift and I got killed. It goes up and it crashes to the ground. So, jump through it. Yes, Matt Gray, yes. I was quite tempted to have Last Ninja 2 as my uh, pre-intro. I change it every week. And I was gonna get copyrighted. In fact, I might even get copyrighted for the outro as well. Let's see. No big deal though. Should be proud of it more than anything. Just like, yeah, I mean, I'm not earning any revenue from it anyway. I don't put adverts over my videos anyway, I just don't see the point. 
Try, like, for example, like if you're searching on, on YouTube for, I don't know, a soundtrack, for example. I don't know, just think of one at random. Uh, I don't know, the Mortal Kombat soundtrack, right? You might have like one or two tracks and all of a sudden you've got adverts. Another two tracks, you've got adverts. I just don't see the point of putting adverts all over it. I'm trying to listen to the music. This gets worse and worse. I just don't see the point. Is that a good thing or a bad thing, man? That's a bad thing, Jamie. Right, okay, avoid that. Right, okay. Three lives. Okay, good somersaults. Uh, now, don't let me get this far. Oh, fell for the floor. Yeah, I... Right. <coughs> Too many! Too many adverts. Well, I'm gonna avoid those. I'm not just sure what the purpose is of those tokens. It's gotta be a purpose, surely. Yeah, it's true, actually. Being a mole, anything's gonna kill you. Everything wants to kill you. Good luck from Sam. I'm sure the cone's not gonna kill you. No. Okay. I could progress. I don't normally get this far. I'm gonna cut cut. I don't wonder if that's a life. I'm not gonna get it from this side. And YouTube also trying to ban if yeah, yeah. At least I managed to figure out that heart problem. That was a pain, wasn't it? I managed to figure out that. Oh, I can't pick up the key. Okay. It must have a purpose because why would you have ones like that? It's quite a Whiskey you want to get hold of. It's got to be quite some important to these tokens. Take it easy, Lord Infinity. Have a good weekend, buddy. Oh my goodness me. Right, uh... This is perfect. Have a good one, buddy. Another key. I can't pick it up. Right, I'm gonna assume it. I'm gonna assume here that cupcakes are extra. Well, I can't go through there anyway. They're gonna teleport me somewhere else. So here! Goodness me. Death. All over it. Yeah, have a good weekend, mate. Whatever you're doing, have a good weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't even pick them up. There's not many games I can think of where keys are useless. Anyway, Robert Gray, thank you for that. I didn't realise about those uh, Monty Freedom kits. That's very interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Yes, the beam is a teleport. However, I didn't particularly want to be transported over there, but it took me right over there. Yes, that is apparently a Monty Freedom kit, which you can select at the title screen, which of course Robert Gray has told me about. I didn't realise that. I just always assumed those are the items got to find. Um, but even though I've had this for so long, I haven't actually read it before, but yes, the Freedom Kit, it's got the, like, like Chubby Gristle, yeah, you've got the compass, the jet pad, the disguise, the boat, the generator, the laser gun, the watch, the ladder, the hand grenade, the gun, the floppy disk, the passport, the gas mask, the teleport, sorry, the telescope, the tank, the bottle of rum, the axe, the kit bag, map, and the hammer, and the torch. Don't worry too much about selecting the Freedom Kit, then we'll... There will come a point in this game where you can go no further, but it looks as if you should. At that point, take careful note of where you are. Restart the game and select the item from the Freedom Kit that will help you on your way. Do not read instructions. I am reading instructions. I've always time, I'm reading instructions. I've had this game for years. I am now. 
can't park here. No, you can't park here at all. Right. <laughs> right, that's the game I must get back to. I'll try again off offline. Um Right, okay. Uh what we're we gonna play next. Let's have a quick Yeah, let's have a look at this wave I don't think I've got wavy name it, unless it's on the unless it's on here. You need to play it over and over again to find the correct cre Yes. Exactly. And once for sure, I will not have it on the CF card. It's not going to be there. It's definitely not going to be here either. But I'll have a look anyway. I'm pretty sure it's not there. No, I haven't got many W's actually. But I'll certainly look into it in the future. IK Plus. Yes, I have that on the CC4. Uh, yes. Of course, you've got International Karate and also got IK Plus. You've got that one there. Do you mean that one? Yes. I think this might also be my problem. Not sure. <laughs> Hammer fist. I'll have a look at that as well. Yes, this also yes, this is different from the Mega version. It doesn't have the bomb stage. If I remember rightly. The music is quite quiet on this one. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't sound very loud though. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it to maximum volume. Let me know if it's too loud though. Jeez. <laughs> uh, oh God. Right, that's maximum volume. Let me know. T for challenge. I don't think it worked on this one. I've never actually tried actually. No, no tea for trousers in this one. Here's a good game. Yeah, of course, the Mega version I played first. In fact, I think I played Way of Spoken Fist before IK Plus. It's a little loud, isn't it, really? Oh, okay. okay. But yeah, it's the same game, but you don't have the bomb bonus stage. You just have to bounce balls. Of course, your belts don't show. I can't remember what key you got press. It's certainly not help. But it might be. It might be space. I don't know. I'll, figure it, I'll try and figure it out. And also, I don't think you've got multiple speeds. Uh, is it return? I'll figure it out in a minute. I'll just press all the keys randomly. Did it affect balls for 100 points? Yeah, they're very well done, aren't they? I probably don't get the heads either. version was before the me version, I think. Right. Red isn't doing very well, which is good, but that's alright, we stay in. Uh, have you ever completed yet yeah, um, on the me version? Yes, I have. I quite like the bomb, actually. You don't actually have to hit all of them. You get some. You only stay alive. You're okay. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Just trying to figure out what the belt button is. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Faster. 
Yeah, I don't know if you can adjust that on this one. I don't know. I'm not sure. Probably not. Oh, I see. We're green. I see it now. We are green. Green belt. I see it now. What we saying? Yeah, you should have kicking some guy in the head. Yes, you can do it in a game like this. Right, level seven, green belt. Gotcha. I told you somewhere. It was staring me right in the face. Quite a time to just get knocked out by red. Don't get hit by blue. But right, stay in. <laughs> Have some of that. The fet balls for 100 points. He just isn't done. So Robert Gray, what is your favourite beat em up on the CG4? Have you got one? Now, I've probably played Wade Explosion Fist the most. It took me a while to play this version. Yes, yeah, so they forgot about it. Well, whether they forgot or it just wasn't a thing, I'm not sure. Yeah, they're all black belts. Yeah, I, I, I think so. Yeah, I, I, that was one of the very few games my brother bought me. Bought me that one for my birthday. That and Battle Squadron. And then getting that Invader load. That was a wow fact. I couldn't believe it. That was so well done. You're actually playing a game. Oh my god, me out. Playing a game while it loads. Oh, yeah. No, we're out. Oh yeah, Kung Fu, of course, yeah, another good game, yeah, very short though, isn't it? It's a game I was quite surprised wasn't on Amiga, actually. Of course, it's port it's had so many ports, though. Never played the second one, as much as I've played the first one, never played Yeah Kung Fu 2. But it also was released, or we may, should we say, on Xbox. I've got all the achievements on that one. And that was good. Oh, poo! Oh, I can't even spell my own initials. Am I now Jin and Nerd? One more go. Double hit. <laughs> it is good. Yeah, last time I played, last time I streamed it, yeah, I got quite far. I did about three, was it three loops? At one point, I didn't realise I got past blues. I was like, I'm so busy reading the comments. I just beat it, I didn't realise. Yeah. Where <laughs> my line boots are forward? Not played that for long. Oh, TV's gonna turn itself off. Not played Brian Line for a while. I do like it though. I wanted to make a hammer beat of that character. Brian Line who the shorts warring as a hammer beat on my living room wall. Oh, Jonas. Games. I think probably the more you play it, the worse you get. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll eliminate that one. Right, we'll leave that one. Yeah, I'm sh International Karate, I think, only had two characters. Wait, uh, Wait, Spreading Fist only had two characters. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Three thousand one hundred points. Did you get any new games for Christmas, Andreas? Yeah, I think sometimes you try too hard, don't you? Get to the shin, I'm down. 
Archer McCain was a great pro- yeah, he was. But he died, he died last year, didn't he? Did he die last year or the year before? Yeah, it's very rare I get past the C4 version 1. Funny how other fighting games like Street Fighter 6 has never three plus. True, yeah. But this was also on the C32, which is quite surprising because it had no additional extras. There was nothing. No additional music, no intro, no outro. Exactly the same game, just being on a controller and being on a CD. Quite surprising. It was also on the PlayStation 1 as well. Whether it's got any additional extras, probably, probably the same levels, it might just have different music. Exactly, exactly. The more you do it, the worse you get. I only got yellow that time. Yeah, I mean, I think I actually have got International Karate on here as well. I'm sure I have. Uh, that one, System 3. I'm sure, yeah. Not played for a while again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need two characters in this one. 1986 by System 3 Limited. Intro done by Jack Alien of Remember. I've got so many tangles going on here. Right. Run stop. Uh, yes. There you go. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they did that in quite a few other games, didn't they? Um... What was that game I played on a memories video? Um, Hercules. Uh, that was something of the dam. Something of the dam. Yeah, that was. Must have been inspired by that. Uh, F1. Uh, space. Press B to load the second journey. Gotcha. Restart. Yes. Same music, I think, yeah. Are we playing? No. We are now. Begin. Okay. In Egypt. Right, one hit. It's done by two points. So yes, very much like Way of Swimming Fist. Pretty much on the same page. Red. I have got uh, Smash Brothers on the Xbox. Also, there's going to be a game on the CD4 like Smash Brothers, but of course without the Nintendo characters. It's actually CD4 characters, like you know, like Arthur, mm -hmm. and Ghost, for example. Yeah, that was in the works. Of course, the character's a lot smaller. I've got it somewhere. I don't know where it is. Probably another room. <laughs> Where's Tony Fist was one of your favourite fighting games on the CZ4? Did you have a CZ4 back in the day? Did you collect around a friend's house? Time as well. Okay. Yeah, it's trying to adapt to a different control, uh, different move, isn't it? There you go, right in the nose. Right, I have no idea how you do this. Absolutely no idea. I can't remember. 
Now just whack it in your forehead. There we go, one of the points. I can't remember what the controls were. Contact, yeah, that was um, well, it was team seven, wasn't it? It was before team 17. Not played that for ages. The last time I played it was actually on stream, it was a long time ago. I kept getting killed by this dog. I cut past so many different rounds, and this is this, this, this dog character. I kept getting killed by the dog. Why is it one that one? Point red. Point. Yep, four points. You get the half points or the one point. Again, very. Where it's own fist. Just up and down like crazy to break the brick. Is that what you got? Ah, I was doing the right. I was doing left and right. So it's up and down. I was right, but wrong. Thank you for throwing that, because that was baffling my brain, that was. Point. Test your... Yeah, I mean... It's, it's more well known for the left and right, isn't it? Like, Mortal Kombat, for example. Test your might, as you just said. <laughs> I was confusing the poor guy. Still going, I don't know how long though. No, I'm out. Which they're still doing that, apparently they're still doing those in other Mortal Kombat games. Like Mortal Kombat 1 and 11 sort of thing, or X. Well not X, but certainly 11, I think they're still doing those Tesla mites. Um. Right, we've, we've got to do it, haven't we? Because I'm in that... Yeah. Uh, where is it? We've got to try this as well. Another classic. Right, where it's phone fists. Uh, now one of these works. I can't remember what it is. We'll go to the middle. Oh, it's midnight. Watch is confirmed. Yeah, I played... I'm sure I played this one before. Before IK Plus. Yeah, it's pretty much on the same page, isn't it? Two yin yangs, two full yin yangs get a win. Take it easy, nighty night, Mr. Freehead Monkey. So you get the half point and the full points. Yeah, this is Melbourne House, wasn't it? around <laughs> my nose yeah I think you're right yeah right. of course a little bit more slow pace oh it's my bedtime I'm with you now yeah watch you try and tell me something How far I've got. First Dan is for very early days. I don't know why. Yeah, it's when I first got this watch. Yeah, it's, that was just the time it was, and I just left it for some reason. Now it just reminds me what the, what the next day is. But then I pretty much do go to bed at midnight most nights anyway. Even if I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, I'm still going to bed at midnight. Come back from behind here. I can't remember how you turn around. Um, great atmosphere in this one. They all copy Karate Chomp. Yeah, or Champ, yes. We do better than that, Jamie. Yeah. 
Yeah, wasn't IK Plus? Well, I, well, I'm sure it had a different title at one point, didn't it? Crazy, I don't know how to turn around. Uh it's gotta be a simple way in that, surely. Might have to look at the Oh, there's my instruction book. It's on the shelf, Jamie. You do get bonus stages, not as often though. Looks like it's called karate, or am I getting f what this one? No, this is this is it's way up exploding fist. This one. Yeah, bro bought this for me. Uh, again, it was John Menzies. Yes! The key is you must learn how to turn around. Right, how do we turn around? I'm tempted to go and get my cassette. Good at jumping, yeah, but he's better at jumping, I am at turning around. That's gonna hurt. Right, I need to figure out this. Where we turn around? Hold on. Wait, I need to open this. Where are we? How do we turn around? Got to know how to turn around in this game. Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Turn around. Uh, the forward somersault, the walk backwards block, the back somersault, the high punch, the f way forward, the jab, the low punch. Backwards sweep, roundhouse, flying kick, step forward, high kick, mid kick, short jab, punch. How do you turn around? It doesn't say how you turn around. Right, I'll make. We have got to figure out how to turn around. How do we turn around? It's not back to fire. How do we... No, that's not going to do it either. It's not that. It's not down and fire, it's forward and up. It's back and fire. Ah, it is. But you don't, you don't hold it down, you just tap it. Now we got to turn around. <laughs> Hound doggy, hello, buddy. Yeah, oh. Okay, that was the most unusual confrontation there. How you doing, Hound doggy? Good to see you. I can't, it doesn't say it in the shopping manual. But I did look it very, very quickly. Like that, yeah. How you doing? How are we going to see you? Happy New Year to you. <laughs> Every now and then, yes, we should. Right. Let's try and do well this time. Happy New Year to you too. Did you have a good Christmas? You got a quest too? Is that that's VR, isn't it? Yeah, I'm all new to that. Maybe one day I'll treat myself to something like that. If my body will allow me to, because the first ever time I used VR it was around a friend's house. And yeah, I played it for five minutes and I felt really, really dizzy. I can't remember what I was playing. It might have been Resident Evil, it might have been 
grid or something. It was one of the two. But either way, it was very short and sweet. I'm hoping it sort of improves since then. Sweet for Yeah, that's the tech I've mostly done. Oh, the remake. Yeah, well, um, yeah, Mr. Raw's been playing that. He's also been telling me about the downloadable content, which apparently is quite a long downloadable content. Uh, it's like eight hours or whatever. But yeah, I have, I've got the original, but I have not... In fact, I've not played the original... Sorry. I've not played the remake of the first. I have not finished the remake of the second. I haven't played the remake of the third or the fourth. So yeah, when it comes to Resident Evil, I'm a little bit behind. I did go a bit of phase. I was trying to complete the remake of the second one. I got quite far as well. And then all of a sudden, I stopped. And I haven't really gone back to it, but yeah, I should really. But finish this, the PlayStation 1 game loads of times. Walk about mini golf. I do like a bit of mini golf. Is that still a thing? I have got a Kinect. Again, I haven't used it for years. I quite like Ito. I use that quite a lot. I do like Crazy Golf, yeah. Or Mini Golf. In fact, I probably preferred playing Crazy Golf more than I did playing Proper Golf. Probably was better at Mini Golf, I expect, or Crazy Golf. Right, third down. Cut the rope, that's that, yeah, I, that's that little green dude, isn't it? Did you drag it? Yeah, I played that. I got a bit too addicted to it, I, I, I deleted it. Same with Candy Crush, yeah. It's very easy to get addicted to something like that. Yeah, it's quite retro now, isn't it? So it's one of those sort of games, I'm surprised. Hurry up! <coughs> Punch him in the nose, don't you? Um, yeah, surprised it's not had like a modern remake. You can do, you can get used to Oculus as well. You was ill. Yeah, it's, I mean. I can go on a roller coaster, get flung around upside down, I'm absolutely fine. But yeah, that hit me very, very quickly. And fourth down, making some progress. <laughs> right, got a little bit off subject there, didn't he? Um, right, let's have a quick go of. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's have a, I don't think I've got Hammer Fist. So I'll have a look. I think it was Alkenstein. I don't know if I've got it. Um, Hammer Fist, Hammer Fist, Hammer Fist. I don't know if I have. Of course, there's probably been quite a few updates since then. Mm, no, I doubt it's going to be here either. Hammer fist, hammer fist, hammer fist, hammer fist. I've got to sort this out. It's a mess once again. Hammer fist is a no, no to hammer fist. <laughs> it can be. Yeah. One thing I noticed with VR is a lot more effort than using a controller and a flat screen. Gateway to. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, gateway to. Go the wrong way, Jamie. If it is here. Yeah, I got quite far in it, actually. I was playing it quite a lot in my lunch breaks. Um. Candy Crush. Never played it. Um, never played it. 1983. I was one years old. Only the chosen one will succeed. Such a hero must find safe passage through the dangerous underground labyrinth of the famed lost temple of Atsfi. Atshai. Exploring each other before the time runs out. Along the way, there will be terrifying monsters. Avoid the most cunning of traps and collect treasure. Fit for king. Are you the one to fulfill the destiny? We'll give it a try. I've never played it before. This is a new one for me. Yes. Is that a guy sitting on the toilet? 
Uh, yes, I was one years old when I got when I, this came out. Right, your characteristic strength is it a? Oh, it's going to be one of these ones, isn't it? Is it going to be RPG ish sort of game? Is it? It's a sequel to Temple of Aps Apshai. Apshai. Select a dungeon. Uh, one. Right. Fine. We've got a time in it. No, never ever seen this one before. Right, two short swords. Okay, no enemies yet. Equip the sword. Uh, how to do that? How to do that? No, not fight. Key. Oh, it's one of these. Right, okay. It's like nightmare, isn't it? Check weapons, next. Okay, trap, short. Ah! No? Short sword. Have I got that? <laughs> not sure. What's that? Take? I don't know. I've got a funny feeling this could be... Check, check, check weapons, next level, keys, locate trap, search spell, drop item, pick up item. Oh no. F7? Fight! Aha, okay. Get sort of Zorro vibes with that one. Okay. You said that just at the right time as well. You killed by a scorpion. Right, time limit. Okay. Can't go through there. Do you still have a CC4, Mr. Hamburger? Uh, turn around again. Bit of deja vu. Now, either that's a trap or it's a checkpoint. <laughs> yes, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's what my alarm was telling me about. What is this? I don't really see an R. Victory. A lot of five CG fours and five fifteen four ones, along with the kinds of accessories. But I need to convince wifey. Oh right, you got that problem with it. <laughs> I've been really good lately. Can I buy one of these, please? I want to treat myself to one of these. Right, I oh, pick them up. I'm sure I tried that. Silver necklace. Yeah, offer a silver necklace. It might be alright. So her is investment, yes. Fifty-nine seconds to go. A silver chest. What do I do now? Uh keys? Have I got any I think I've got any keys, have I? The doors with red doors require keys, if I've got one. I hope I have got keys. We do have keys, there you go. The trouble with my retro game investments is I never end up reselling them. Well, I, 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 I just, I don't, I can't remember the last thing I did sell. It was a long time ago, I don't sell games now. I've traded a few in. I think I'd probably trade more PlayStation 1 games and PlayStation 2 games than anything else. I might have sold the occasional one on eBay. Yeah, I, <laughs> it's not in my nature to sell these games. Ah, oh, I haven't got. Oh, I put my sword away. Uh, I gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I didn't realise he put his sword away. I suppose it's like Last Ninja, isn't it? If you, you 
If you're trying to open a door with a key, for example, you have to put your staff away. Or your sword away, or your nunchucks. Yeah. Or you put your sword away, you want to try and climb a wall. Swamp rat. Killed the sw you have been slain. Killed by swamp rat. Press trigger to go on. I'm gonna start again. <laughs> yes, exactly, it is. Yes, we occasionally have the conversation at work and they never hear, they've never heard of the games I, I'm, I'd mention. Yeah, so I can't really have a retro conversation at work. No one's heard of them. They just don't know what they're missing, really. Keys. Sword. Healing arrows. Slave arrows. Healing keys. Locate trap. I'm assuming all enemies I've killed already stay gone. Never play any of the Diablos. Did you get any new games for Christmas, Mr. Mark Gordon? I think you might have done, actually. I'm, I'm sure you put something on, on Discord. A fungus. No one would be killed by a fungus. Right, I'm going to put the sword away, I guess. Bow, healing, arrows, bow, no, keys, keys, F7, hey, I'll get the hang of it now. Okay, exactly. Oh no, my fungus, my iron chest. Uh... Right. C4 game, uh, loads, ha, this, lots of C4s have joysticks, disc, and an SD. Yeah, I've got a 1541, yeah. It's still working. Yeah, I'm still buying cassettes every so often. As long as the shelves don't fill up again, I'll be alright. Amnesia Horror Game, Zool. What's that like, the new Zool game? I like the look of it, except the, the, the character was so small and the environment was so large. It's almost like it's been zoomed out about ten times. I don't know if I liked that. I, I mean, yes, yeah, Zool is a very difficult game. I haven't got far in it, but... It's... I like it to be more zoomed in. But in with three pound, you can't go wrong with three pound. Ugh! Three pound, can you? It's worth a try for three quid, isn't it? We've got to lose. Three quid. That's all. <laughs> um, the media horror game. Yeah, I... Yeah, I've not bought many. In fact, my PlayStation... I don't know where my PlayStation 5 games are. Probably in the... Do you know, I've had... I've always moving around. I don't know where things are now. I don't know where my PlayStation 2, 5 games are. It could be in the bedroom. They are in the bedroom. They are, where my DVDs are. Right, we're going to have one more go of... Well, yeah. We're going to end it with... Um, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Right, we're going to go over the zip zip once again. Um, well, that's not a bad thing, then. Uh, I mean, did, who actually managed to finish the original Zool? I just can't get past the second thing, which is the instrument thing, the musical thing. We've never done it. An original expanded or midpoint. If you play like the original Zool, you can. Has it got the chopper chops in it? Hmm. So you might, I think most people probably prefer the original Zool to the um AGA Zool. Right, back to this bad boy. Let's give it another try. 
transport it there in a minute. But we'll figure out I'm working on tomorrow. Another tough shoot em up. Um, <laughs> have finished it once. I think. Was it once or twice? I can't remember now. Another good one. What, in this? Oh, we mean Zor or this? Yeah, I just don't know where I'm going half the time. It's one of those games, you either love it or you hate it. I think most people probably weren't a fan. Probably most people would prefer the second game. That's all that is. Right. Oh, again. What's my favourite? We all know the quite we all know the answer to that. <laughs> Mind you, there are so many uh, on the on the CD4. Right, restart. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. But, you know, Zynabs, which I played earlier today, is great. Uh, Catechist, Stellaris, all very good. Uh, uh, um, this was also very good. Slayer was good as well. Um, I mean, Trojan Warrior, it's, it's, it's another good game. It's, it's basically you're a horse, a flying horse. But it's also a shooter, but it's not quite as fast paced as other ones. It's not quite bullet hell as other ones. Another really good game, one of my favourites. Um, yeah, it's going to be hard to I'm afraid it is. Right. I mean, it's only got four levels, this one. But basically, these orbs work as initial hits. So you take damage. You've only got an orb. It's not been hit by anything too large. You just take your orb away. So if you've got two orbs, that works as two initial hits. One of its problems is, is it's the size of your spaceship, you know, because the bullets are in the, in the middle, it's difficult to try to hit things on the ground, or close to the surface, shall we say. But yes, Chaos Engine, yes, that's... Oh, it's two-player. Oh. We don't want two-player. Do that again. Do you know it was two-player? Take it easy, Robert Gray. Yes, they should have done, shouldn't they? Yeah, have a good weekend, Robert Gray. Have a good weekend, see you later. Thanks, Jamie, for another great stream. Take it easy, mate. Um, yes, I mean, Chaos, I, have, I don't know if the Chaos Engine port for the C4 is playable yet, but it looks pretty good so far. But yeah, I do like um, Chaos Engine. I know Sweetest Health is not a fan of it, he hates that second character. Of course, the second one, which I do have, isn't as good as the first. The first time I played that, of course, when I got the Voyager pack with the CD32. Right, okay. So I get past a level or two. Again, the bullets are really quick in this game. I mean, Artai is a classic example. So yeah, no orbs. Not protected from anything. See me! Ah. Not be in the middle of that. Fine at times, it really is. Right, Jamie, you need to be at the far end of the screen. Yeah, in a game like this, you have to, really. That, basic, that will basically give you faster projectiles, faster bullets. You'll do this. I am going to do this. 
<laughs> um, but yes, I might try that out, uh, Mark. I might get a try. Zool. They are fast. Too fast. I mean, me playing this with a controller would be a, be a nightmare. Mellow moments. Not many though. And I'll just die. Right. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. <laughs> I do have this as a physical version too. Yeah. Zeppelin Games. 1987. You're working smart. Take it easy, Mr. Mark Ball. Have a good weekend. Sorry to hear you working. Oh, poo! No, I messed up again, Jamie. Hang on. That one, that's it. I don't know about that. I'm turned. So we get past the first level, at least. phone mic. I mean, I'm still using my old phone. I, just, I quite prefer my old phone to my new one, actually. Even though the battery does die very quickly. I prefer the old phone. So you need to be using two phones? Oh, my lord, Jamie. Hello, Dry Lint. Hello, buddy. Good to see you. I'm alright. How are you doing? Happy New Year to you. You happy miss? Here we go. That do. This is Inter Oblivion, also known as IO. 1987! Oh my goodness me! <laughs> right, no more restarts. No more. Long time no see, brother. From across the sea, how do I send you a few bucks? Hey, no, no, no need. No need. It's great to see you. Great to see you. Same question to you, how are you doing across the sea? Right, I'm going to do this. Right. We need the orbs. As early as possible. Then you can either shoot it and get the weapon, or collect it to nuke everything on the screen. That is definitely a pew pew pew. So it's difficult to kill enemies close to the ground. Because you've got the size of your spacecraft. So why do you survive that? The most difficult enemies are the ones on the ground. Turrets. One way of doing it anyway. That's very kind of you, thank you, Elkenstein. Thank you, buddy. Oh my lord! I can't do it! Ugh, probably a sign to go to bed, Jamie. Alright, so zero lives. My lord. Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate that. Never got past number two originally. Chuppa Chups is missing life. 
Yeah, missing licensing. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I thought it'd been like the same situation with uh Last go, I'm putting into the stream. Let's hit it on a high. Try to. Let's take it nice and right. steady, Jamie. Pick up that. Again, if it did better on my first attempt. Can get a little bit closer to the. Oh my god. Closer to the terrain, Jamie. Thank you, I appreciate that. You figure this a bunch. You treated, you, you, you treated yourself recently as well, haven't you? There's a few more games on the PlayStation. What was that one you bought the other day? Turned up? On the PlayStation 5? Yes, now I've got more room for retro. It certainly helps. How long is it going to last? It should last a little bit longer this time. Yes, it's amazing how much space you can make. The space is limited. Anything's possible. Right, should I get past this first level? It's possible. Right, we've got an orb. Right, we'll get him somewhere. Just keep it intact, Jamie. That's not what I'm meant to do. Right, where's that snipe? Oh my goodness me, that you snake! Probably not technically a snake, is it? We'll go with that. This is just level one. I got four levels. So again, let me do that in a sec. Add scent. Yeah, it's definitely a new one on me. Why, oh, boss battle! Lord. Destroy it piece by piece. Ah, oh, took my orb away. Oh my lord, it gets me every time! Boulder Skate, I have that on the PlayStation 2. Boulder Skate 1 and 2, actually. Yeah, finished, finished the first one, did finish the second. But I got pretty far in it. But it's been so long since I last played it. Again, it probably makes sense to go back to the start. There's quite a few of those now, isn't there? forward to playing it. I also ordered a Bobble Escape 3 Deluxe Boxed Set. Can't wait for that. You're certainly treating yourself, aren't you? This is good, of course. Uh, it's kind of pricey. Great nostalgia to get the other dungeons and boxed Dragon's Box Computer Games. Yes, I mean, you're like me, aren't you? You're just trying to wait a little bit longer for the physical version with you totally. Exactly what I would have done. Right, now what? Oh, they say there's nothing you can do in that game. What's that? I would have played it already, but I was waiting for the physical version. I hear it a lot from friends too who play. 
Anyway, I think I'm going to call it a day, actually, people. Right, we've still got 29 awesome people watching. Um... Yeah. <laughs> a bit of a mixed bag this time, wasn't it? But anyway, I think that's more than enough. No long plays this time, but anyway, I'm going to get an early night. I've got a video to do tomorrow. And hopefully, a few more purchases are waiting to arrive. Hopefully, you're going to arrive Sunday. Hopefully, that's the plan. We've got a few here as well. Box down here. Another one over there. Yes, what's going on? But yes, it's going to be hopefully behave for itself. But yes, hopefully the new ones are great. Thank you, appreciate that. Hope you have a good weekend, people. Thank you very much for the donation. Let me just see the fruit today. Very kind of you. Thank you very much to Carsten Dorman. Some of them have come up, some of them have not. Gigabytes Technology, thank you. Breaking Crew, Carsten Powell, Disco Poppin. Jonathan, the thank you much for the donation as well. And Albert Sign, thank you. We'll see a few subscriptions. Thank you for those. Always nice to receive more donations. And Vegas, hello, boy. I didn't know he was here. Hello, buddy. <laughs> See you next time, people. Yes, thank you to you guys, thank you for the donations, and cheers. Yep. Don't know yet, not sure. Might be something new, might be something we normally go to, I don't know yet. Have a good one, Quavers. Whatever you do, have a good one. Cue the outro, take care. Yep. Of course, with best always, and Chris is here. Take it easy, Chris. Ciao, bye.